Hey, I'm Chico Bean. Have you ever been at the house chilling and wanted something new to eat? Well, there's always something new on DoorDash. Ordering is easy. Open the DoorDash app, choose what you want from where you want, and your items will be left safely outside your door with the contactless delivery drop-off setting. With over 300,000 partners in the US, Puerto Rico, Canada, and Australia, you can support your neighborhood go-tos or choose from your favorite national restaurants like Popeye's, Chipotle, and the Cheesecake Factory. DoorDash connects you with restaurants you love right now and right to your door. For a limited time, our listeners can get 25% off and zero delivery fees on their first order of $15 or more. When you download the DoorDash app and enter code 85SOUTH2021, that's 25% off up to $10 value, and zero delivery fees on your first order. When you download the DoorDash app in the App Store and enter code 85SOUTH2021. Don't forget, that's code 85SOUTH2021 for 25% off your first order with DoorDash. Subject to change, terms may apply. Hey, I'm Chico Bean, and did you know two out of three men will experience this at some point in their life before they turn 35? But you know what? Keeps offers a simple, stress-free way for you to keep your hair. Convenient virtual doctor consultations and medications delivered straight to your door every three months. You don't even have to leave your home. There are only two FDA-approved medications that can prevent hair loss. Keeps offers both. Low-cost treatments start at just $10 per month. And Keeps offers generic versions. Keeps has more five-star reviews than any of its competitors. Discreet packaging and proven results. So if you are ready to take action and prevent hair loss, go to Keeps, K-E-E-P-S dot com slash 85 South to receive your first month of treatment for free. Prevention is key. Treatments can take up to four to six months to see results, so act fast. That's Keeps, K-E-E-P-S dot com slash 85 South to get your first month for free. Keeps dot com slash 85 South. Presenting to you America's favorite black television show that's not on television. You bitch. To everybody who's been watching this on YouTube, you've been doing your motherfucking thing. You mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, bitch, you. Mm -hmm. And when you got company and you turn on the 85 South show and you letting that play in the background just to keep the tone of the ambiance, of the vibe that you created with this individual in such a spectacular fashion, mm. just know that we are appreciating your appreciation of the greatness that's being bestowed in front of your eyes. We appreciative. Now check this out. Y'all have helped us Set take the, the tone brand in your home with some real to a whole Set nother the tone level. In the home with some you think real I'm bullshit, man? Set the tone NASA sent some, some niggas out of space niggas. the other week. The and I swear to real God, I seen a nigga with an 85 South show hat on through his astronaut visor. Now, you might think I'm bullshit, but I ain't got no lie to tell you, man. Let me just take a moment on, tell to show you and tell Set you the, the places that this shirt and this merchandise right tone. here behind me has gone. We finna set the tone. Niggas have sent me pictures at the pyramids the wearing this shit. Come on. Niggas are all in France with funny looking pants. Come on. Doing a stupid little dance. Every we other chance. With this tone. shit on. Come on. Wait a minute. I get so excited. We finna set the I just tone. can't hide it. Did you see the new shirts we, we got for the women the with the big titties? We got them we big the titties shirts. Tone. You ask we and we listen. Look at that. Ain't no we bra going under that. It's just going to be titty we breast, to the areola, tone. nipple area. We about to set the tone so in your home. Because the summer is coming. The and they need them to be free. Bro, little women, big women, women set with little tone. big titties. And the women with look, big look little titties, we they fit all up in there. We about right. to set the tone. I'm talking about when she lay down, they still gonna be titties. Set they ain't the gonna fall. In your home. Even we if she got them the big, tone. big areolas that supposed to come out the bottom of set everything she wear, not them. Cause we they stretch at the, the bottom. Tone. Chico back. Set the Ready? tone. Yeah, yeah. Chico oh, back. Yeah. We about to set the tone. Gone. You know what I'm saying? He been, been, on, he been over there for home. family reasons and things of that nature. Hey man, but I'm going to let him tell you about that when it's his turn to tell you about that. I got a lot of catching we up to, to do. Set the tone. Shout out to all the people in the comment section. Set the tone. That be getting people right when they have the wrong set information. The tone. Yeah, yeah. But them, them 85 percent do not play home. about this show. Hey, man. Not at all. Because they been here. Not at and all. And they know. They won't let shit slide. And we slide. love all of y'all. 
And they keep saying, nigga, Los be there no. every episode. Oh. Nigga, I'm the glue. All of y'all. If I don't come to work, won't nobody else come. That's the truth. Hey, man. Hey. Hey, you ain't got to work hard. You just got to be there. If you be there, you gonna be took care of. Bubba old school. Come on, man. Really? Shoemaker old school. Come on, man. We about to take this shit. I don't know what level they think this is on. We about to set the tone. If we on level 99, we going to 100. Set the tone. No, no. No, no. Yes, the fuck we are. No, I, be, I think we got to switch the degrees. Why? Set the tone. Because your I think tone. we about to go to the upper numbers, so we need higher numbers. We need to be Celsius. Don't water start boiling at like 135. Fahrenheit? Yeah. Okay, so at Celsius, it's got to be like two something. I think the scale need to be bigger. You understand what I'm saying? Intelligent nigga conversation going on. Whatever it is, we trying While to get to the boiling point. Intelligent go. nigga go. conversation going on. We who read the comments. Your home? Oh, we read them. We know who they want to see on the show. What they gonna set say. the tone? Who available? We finna set the tone. We gotta schedule they this want, shit. They set wanna the know tone how. Get so and so. Get them. Go get tone. them. Go get them. You think the that's same people they be the telling tone. me to go get? These the same people that be scared to come talk set to them. The tone. Come on, go get them. They got people set scared. The tone in your how you gonna go get them? Cause don't nobody like criticism. But we ain't even here to criticize. We ain't never criticized nobody on this I'm, show. We're not critics. <laughs> but you we know what this show is critical for a lot of people. It's critical, but we ain't never yeah, criticized no, nobody. No. You know no. what this show is? This show is the insulin of the streets. <laughs> Y'all might need this. Now, I know they need, need it. it. You can't do nothing without the insulin. You might need this. You're going to pass out. You might need this. Whether nigga. your sugar high or your sugar low, right. this your show. Come we on. keep this shit What'd so black. We have dropped this show at every time slot on a Friday. <laughs> we, we the king of time slots. Friday Literally. be asking me. From midnight to midnight, when is it coming on? We don't know. It come on when it That's won't. That's not my department. It but come it's going to be a show. When it won't. For show. Yeah. That's up to the engineers. We got an engineering department. They got a lot of Yo, ingenuity. You, you loop this fucked up, J.O. Wayne. You got to loop that again. Give us something else. You fucked it up. He just been slacking lately. He been holding all the good shit. He for was looping it yeah. as he went. Yeah, I know. He was See, trying he, to catch it. He, he think he don't got to fuck with us because everybody fuck with him now. He right. think I don't know him and Lil Yachty working on some shit. Word. You see how he only giving me like three beats a yeah. week now? That's it. How he going to cut me off nigga, and I'm the cut club? Cutting us off, fucking with Lil Yachty. That nigga cut, cut us off, fucking with Lil Yachty. He cut Damn. us off. That nigga cut us off, fucking with Lil Yachty. He cut us off. That nigga cut us off, fucking with Lil Yachty. He cut us off. Damn, J O N, I thought you was my friend. Me you too. ain't gonna bring that hot shit in for me and my nigga Los to go off to. What the fuck we gonna do? We be spitting shit for years. Them niggas don't know you for real. Stop I remember tripping. when you first came around, it used to go down. You had a good talk. And you don't even play that bitch now. You just give me about half a beat, like two a week. I be like, damn, J O N is everything sweet. Is it beef or is it beef? Is it beef? Nigga sound like he made this bitch with his feet. With his feet. I'm like, god damn. God damn. You gotta bring the he vibe back. You know what we do to them J O N tracks? We gon' mac every time. He was playing some shit that was hard. I was like, woo, shit. Uh, oh, oh my god. god, he cut it off like, no, that ain't for you. I got some shit that you gonna love. Wait till you hear it, fool. I'm like, we, nigga, we. And he ain't never play that shit out like I did. God damn, J O N. God damn, J O N. Then this nigga started playing some shit from a white church revival. I like that. That's the type of shit I'm into now. Uh, shit don't nobody else want. <laughs> Kanye was fucking with the intro part though, with what? the little jingles. What you see, that just made Clayton sit up. They the this Holy Ghost. beginning of Ozark. Eh? <laughs> that nigga playing a jug on this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh, this a revival in the mountain, nigga. This is when you put, this is when you go see Trouble on Grand Theft Auto and you gotta do that first mission. <laughs> In the name of Jesus! <laughs> You're going to hell! You're going to hell! 
Everybody's going to hell. The world's in abomination right now. Bring out the snakes. Where are snakes? Bring the snakes out. Dude, what made you make this one? What was you watching that made you make this one, J.O.? Dukes of Hazard. Yeah, the dream That's about cold. Man, that nigga woke up and took it's a, a third of an X pill. <laughs> <laughs> he, just, he just took the dust and rubbed it on his teeth. <laughs> He was probably at Bruh, home. this make me want to have He made this a, shit with a pink tank nigga, top on. Nigga, I challenge you to a duel, nigga. This is the, this, you know when niggas drive cross country? Right. And they show you how far they go on the map, this is the song they play. Right. They play this shit. This, <laughs> right. You know what this shit sound like? This shit sound like this town ain't big enough for the both of us, nigga. It's a lie. Nevada, Arizona, Texas, this Mississippi. This ain't big enough for the both of us, nigga. For real. Johnny Cash will fuck this up. For real, bro. This this one is oh. different, J-O-N. Who we gonna get on here? I don't so know who we, we gotta get on here. We started out west, and we made our way back east. <laughs> right. It's the RV, a bitch going to Going through so many trials and tribulations <laughs> along the way. The longest way possible. <laughs> and they show, you show the nigga stopping the horse sleep, and they grilling that meat. That montage when they show the cowboys getting good at everything. Yeah. <laughs> He's shooting all the cans. These niggas Bye. in sync now. Bye. The bottle shooting this shit. Right. The nigga, the, the Indian nigga that showed him how to shoot off the horse. Peace. <laughs> <laughs> he hanging off the side of that bitch. Peace. 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 <laughs> nigga. The Indian nigga got to show him. Yeah, you show your bird. Then they show a nigga just walking right. regular with the horse behind him every time he stopped, the horse stopped. <laughs> Finally get the little Indian bitch to start fucking with him again. Oh. Sure, nigga in the bar fight when he's punched one time yeah. and knocked the nigga over the bar. Pow! <laughs> then he drank that nigga drink. All right, it wouldn't be, wouldn't be a cowboy movie if you ain't have at least one scene where somebody was throwing a knife like that. <laughs> uh. Catch the nigga clothing. <laughs> right. Learned everything from one Indian. <laughs> Chief Strongbow. <laughs> Chief Strongbow, right. he wasn't fucking with him at first, now. but Chief Strongbow, uh, this, this is how, this how uh, smart the Indians be in the cowboy movie, though. Them little train three white boys to be ready for battle as soon as the night before. That's when they break the news. I'm not going with you. <laughs> <laughs> but, but Chief, I mean, everything you taught me, you're ready to go alone. Did he rub oh, yeah. some shit on that nigga forehead? <laughs> Make a simple hey, on that nigga board. watch that shit from the mountains. <laughs> <laughs> he hit him with some he real. He from the mountains. He hit him with some real shit. The test of a warrior is what he does alone. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> the test of a warrior is what he does. The, uh, the test of a true wolf is how he behaves outside the pack. <laughs> right. And then the nigga. These motherfuckers wake up the next morning. He gone. He no gone. matter what like, time he wake up. Like you said, the nigga in the tree, like these don't stand sitting, a motherfucking sitting tree. just like this. <laughs> that nigga eating, <laughs> eating goddamn peanuts watching that shit. You nigga know, <laughs> you know about the goddamn. Hey night. boy, you somebody gonna buy this beat, J.O. and watch. They gonna go platinum. Kanye won't. Shit. It's coming on the new Red, Red Dead Redemption. Yeah, the new Red Dead Redemption. That's this, it. This is the intro song. The intro. When you first learn how to, when they still putting the no, so I'm a square a member of Dutch's square game. for sprint. X for shoot. We need to redo that game <laughs> in black. The tutorial screen. We need to redo the whole game in black. Right, let's do it. Red Dead Redemption and the black yeah. version. Black yeah. ass outlaws. Oh. Man, that's B-A-O. real. Like, we don't get the credit. Buffalo Soldiers was real. They was really out well, there. They won't that make shit. no game about it. Cowboys that. Yeah, was the, us. Was us. You have seen them pictures of the niggas in that motherfucker just. Yep, because if it wasn't us, they would have said cow men. That's how racist they are. That was what genius. What you said? That was what genius. That was genius. What you it said? Wouldn't have been us. They would have called them cow, cow men. Cow men. They was niggas, so they called them. Hey, boy. Them. Hey, hey, boy. Boy, get, get off that cow. goddamn cow. It's a horse, sir. You look like a goddamn horse. <laughs> Your black ass off that cow. How'd you get that horse to let you ride it? I've been hitting this one every goddamn day in the face, and it won't let me get on its back. Well, look over there, Jesse. It's the damnest thing you ever seen. A monkey riding a horse. Um, <laughs> motherfucker say some real racist shit. Well, guess what, Jeff? I got me a horse that's a nigger lover. Frankie, I, 
I think you better sell that horse. Uh, I, I won't get rid of it. It's a really good horse. But I came outside the other day, and I mean, this king was just a riding my horse all around. I mean, doing tricks on him and everything. He loved him. Probably had to. <laughs> And you know, it was a nigga, the nigga, the first nigga that rode a horse got in trouble. Yeah. Because Massa heard, Massa had horses, but wasn't nobody riding. No, Massa, I don't mean to be the bear of bad news, but Jesse can ride that horse. Shut your mouth. Go get Jesse. Because couldn't nobody else ride that horse. Hell no. no. Boy, get up there and ride that horse. No, sir. No, sir. But you know, Jesse was talking shit when it was just the nigga. Like, but that no, they don't know what the fuck he doing up there on that nad. I show him how to ride that some bitch right there. He's like, you ain't gonna do a goddamn thing, Jesse. Show it is. Watch. As soon as I get my shot, I'ma show him. I'm the baddest man on the plantation. On that, that was horse. a hell of a day on the plantation, cause that was the first time a white woman seen a nigga with his shirt off. He had to have his shirt off. Nigga, nigga, he was outside fucking with them horses. He was fucking with the horses. That's when she saw what it was. Yeah. The way you tame that horse. The white lady was on him from then on out. That was and then insane. we knew how to deal with shit being... Think of this. A nigga had shackled. to teach white people how to ride horses without touching them. Mm. We had to teach motherfuckers how to get down and watch their Niggas had to teach You imagine them. knowing how to ride a everything. horse perfectly, right? But you got to tell a motherfucker, but you can't touch them. You can't touch them. Niggas had to know how to go places without being able to read. That's some cold shit when you got to go somewhere and just know how to get there because you can't show that you know what that sign say. Nigga, how much pressure was that? Niggas don't get enough credit out here, man. We the most magical motherfuckers to ever exist, bro. You think white people ever go home after being around some cool ass black people and just be like, oh, I wish we could still buy them. (laughs) Oh, yes. Yes. Love Carlos. Yeah. Buy that motherfucker. God, if I don't give a fuck. How much would it cost to own you? For you to live with us. (laughs) Not Not, 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 not to own own you. You're free. You can leave when you want to leave. But we'll even let you drive the Tesla. Come on. Want you to live with us. Just please. You can get your own guest house and just everything. Like, live with please, us. Please, just live with us. I want you to meet How my much mom. Would it cost my for mom, you to my live dad. With us? A year. The kids a year. love you. The a kids year. love you. How much a year? A year. How much you make? Brent doesn't take to anyone the way he takes to you. Listen, I'm not asking. I'm not asking. Dude, I'm not, it's not offensive, right? Or is this offensive? Hold. I was watching the toy the other day with Richard Pryor, and I think it's you're just, the new Richard Pryor, and I want this you the to question. live with us. This is the question. How much do you think white people like black people on the low? Oh, that's on the low. low. On the low, on the oh, low. Some, oh, you can tell. I don't give a fuck how much they tell, hate us. You know how you can how tell. How much you think they fuck from with us on the low? Okay. TikTok. You can tell how much they like us from TikTok. When you look at TikTok, you can see just how much they love black people. The range of white people. Don't, on and I'm talking about. They want black ass shit. That's the whole app. Like, listen, they got the the the, the new Meg the new Meg Stallion it. song. They ain't made no. TikToks, no black influencers made no TikToks, and you should see these white people trying to figure out what to do to this day. They waiting on the moment. I'm talking about they got this song say hands on your knees, shaking ass on your thigh shit. These motherfuckers got their hands in the air. <laughs> it's like, bro, they don't know what to do. It was like, I, hands on my knees are, am I supposed am I to doing tu- it? Am I supposed to touch my knees or Am I doing uh, Do you put your hands on my knees or do I put my hands on my knees or what? Like, on the low. They love us. If we don't show, but, but think about this. I'll take you even further back. Think about the white kid that had the shoebox of all his the black shit he fucked with up under his bed that he had to hide. He's sneaking. So you oh, went he's all sneaking the way and back. listening to rap. All the way back. Your parents don't know he's listening to rap. He ain't got Could you imagine that? That first parent that heard that their, their son, like, I'm talking about the real what little... What the fuck is this 3-6 Mafia? Nigga, I'm talking about the... Remember what they did with NWA? Like, the first motherfucker that walked in the room and heard, fuck the police coming straight from the... Come on. What did, what did on. your uncle do to you? Come on. What your is dad's this? an officer, Jesse. Your grandfather's your a police chief. Your dad geez. is an officer. <laughs> so you want to fuck your dad. Is that <laughs> fuck dad, saying? mom. Coming straight from the underground. A young nigga's got his bag because I'm brown. Asshole. I am brown. I'm brown. He starts crying. I'm brown on the inside. <laughs> I'm fucking brown. I hate it here. 
Who the fuck is Gaeta there? I'm fucking Gaeta there. Do you ever like do a show like we talking this type of shit and then white people hit you after and explain like, dude, not me. I'm just saying some cool ones out here. If you ever want to come to Colorado. Oh, yeah. Get some pasta and some good weed, bro. That not all like when that. When I was in Colorado, when I put, I put a post up that said I uh, got inspired when I was in the airport in, uh, in uh, uh, what's that, uh, not Colorado, Utah. Yeah. And uh, uh they got Salt Lake City, right Utah. And and I Utah said I got, airport, ins- I got inspired to write a song called Only Nigga in the Airport. And uh mm. Mm. like white people just hit me like, bro, there's so many more. Like it's one that works, there's one that works down at the burger spot. Like, you're not the only one, Chico, but I promise there are plenty of you guys here. I'm like, okay, by the way. Well, I didn't see any of them, but bro, if you, did you catch your flight yet? Like, cause I can introduce I can bring you to them. I can bring them up there. I'm like, yo, this is telling you, man. Like, they don't want to teach critical race theory like, no more. Like, what, you ever thought about this? Like, what do you think, like, a full day as a white man? Like, a, I'm talking about a full 24 hours as a white man feel like in America, not nowhere else in, in, the, in the world, but in the United States of America to wake up pure, 100% Caucasian male. It's gotta be like it, when they win the NBA championship. Mm-mm. No. Like the city is yours. Like, that, oh, and like the go. celebration never stops. <laughs> like you feel like this is, like America, the corporation, you feel like you own the company. <laughs> they feel like they got stock in America. Yeah. You fit. Mm, I think that See, we black, we only know what, we feel like we spending the night over somebody's house and we don't know that ain't nobody coming to get us. Right. <laughs> right. Like, we being forced to spend the night. Right. Like, we could leave, but we didn't get ourselves over here. We need a ride back. Yeah, we are forever visitors but, on this earth. No, nah, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think, I think it, the whole being white, you got to act like that shit ain't the shit in advantage. You gotta kind of you gotta you, you gotta be playing down. It's, it's it's but when they not around, I'm clicking my heels. This shit is so much smoother when niggas ain't around. That's how they. I just be. wonder the type of weird shit that they do when ain't no niggas around. I believe they pull a latch and go underground and eat carrots and shit. I would think there's all type of clandestine shit we don't know nothing about. No, they the just do the same shit. They might just look around and be like, nigger. <laughs> They, they give a hundred dollars. First person that say it get a hundred dollars. Nah, I mean probably ne- next next level racism, the shit that'll really make you mad. Like I fucked my money up. Now I can't re up. Why'd you do that, nigger? They probably uh-huh. You know you needed the money. You knew your plug was coming. <laughs> like, they wait till they all by yeah. themselves and they look around and then music get cut off and then somebody was like, Black Lives Matter, am I right? Right. <laughs> but what if it's like a Suck woman with, What if it's like a woman no, 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 when she t- You know how when they make <laughs> that shit. You know how when a woman come over and take their bra off, now they be like, oh. What if it's like that for white people when they get home, they finally sit down. Nigga! Oh God, I've been holding that one all day. Jesus Christ. Oh God! I mean, I, we did some type of event today where they had a whole bunch of them coming. It was just all. That's my the heart. crazy thing about it, though. That's how out of the loop we are. They, we probably got a whole new code for nigga that don't even re, don't even involve the uh, word uh, at, uh, all. at all. Oh, they've been using them. It's a whole backdoor racism we don't Urban. even know nothing about. Urban. Yeah, urban. Nah, that's too. There's some, I'm urban. talking about some shit that we don't. The area is urban. The code it's is probably, probably dumb shit. Like, are you honey. Okay? Are you okay? The dog's in the yard. A day? <laughs> like, ask you some simple shit. Like, like they really care about you. That's probably the racism. How are you doing? Everything all right? <laughs> yeah, you know, I asked the black guy today if he was doing all right. I told him I was peachy. <laughs> we know what that means. <laughs> the peaches. That's how they, they picked all the, the white eighty-five percent is them. watching this shit. It's not. It's not that's us, what bro. We said it's not us. We're not. That's like crazy. That. The same white people it's that we laughing peachy. at, they be laughing at them too. Yeah, all the way. That's funny though, cause we got people from all over the world. All walks. Just be hitting us up like, "Hey man, did you know y'all good on Neptune?" Like, nigga, we ain't going over there. Shit, I go. I'm not trying to fuck with Neptune, bro. Man, shit, right. I mean, if, if you go with the white people, they gonna make sure you, you know, if, if they if definitely they, not going. If, with if them. they take you nah. in, they be like, "Hey, hey, 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 everything's on me, bud. You don't nah, have to worry bro. about a fucking thing." All right? You go to space with them? Have you seen the space movies? Never come out good, bro. Like yeah, every you right. That's a good. That's point. why we, we got to write one. Good. 
where it come out good. Yeah. Like we they started. Now look, hold up. Black star homeboy. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We got to change the narrative. Wait, that was some bullshit. We definitely got to change the narrative. You know what? You know what? It wasn't that bad, but it wasn't that good. Clayton, Clayton, come on. It wasn't that good. Okay. Chill. 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 And she looked at me like, bro, like, I'm so glad that I didn't grow up with you. I'm like, nah, I just want you to see. It only had watching. one season now. It, it, it wasn't listened. like it. Yeah. It was ridiculous. But bro. it messed up sci fi. We had Negro. a space movie. What and was? white people hijacked it. What was it? The Matrix. Matrix, I told you about that now. Come on. The, the Matrix. Matrix. A black movie? Bro, look, if you take the Neo the out of the Matrix. had to come show this motherfucker how to come. He showed him, it's still some people in the earth. Bruh. Alive. And Listen, they look at the, the look bitch. at the core of the movie, nigga. Lawrence Fishburne showed up with Jada Pinkett. Magical Negro Theory. Exactly. The Negro came from up, the future. Showed the white man the magical shit. The Oracle was black. A nigga yeah. in a leather coat showed up with two. The nigga who fixed the Nebuchadnezzar was Say, black. Come on. Him and his brother. They was born in the Matrix. Like exactly. That. Pure. Matrix. They soon as the white people got in the Matrix, shit got fucked up. Niggas was just traveling through different galaxies, trying to put history back together. But see, that's the that's the part of it that I don't like. Why? But you know what though? <laughs> to know that to know that Will Smith was supposed to be Neo, that changes that that, that makes. If it. Will Smith, if Will Smith, would Will Smith was Neo. Been Neo, we would have been in a better place. You think so? I know I, so. I, I think well, you know so. what he said, right? He I said he couldn't quite. Understand said, it. When the Bro, he did came, men in black. But he said the niggas came to him and they was like, hey man, we got this camera that ain't came out yet. We finna invent a camera and it's gonna shoot you around when you jump up. Like it's gonna go around you and the shit. Like, and they was like, and then it's about being in the world, but you ain't in the real world. You plugged in and he was like, they sent the wrong nigga to explain yeah. right. <laughs> but see, I'll be forgetting. He, <laughs> he said, what well, the nigga said, said they got a camera they got to create. I'll be forgetting he, he know this nigga. They, they got his more background. They explain that, that shit. Look, man, they look, got man. a camera they fucking with. Hey, they man. got a camera that shit that ain't came out yet, but they building it and yeah. you jump and you going to stay there. It's going to go around you. Like, he was like, yeah, man. I'm going to work with See, the See, you got more got background shit. on the shit than you done heard the uncut raw. Yeah. And, and I just seen some shit. And the, the, what's the agents in the movie? Like, the shit that they was doing, that's what the police do to niggas every day. Oh, man. Come on. Right. Literally. And if the scary part the about the Matrix, movie, though, is, nigga, you got to have a landline. I couldn't figure out what I didn't like. But you didn't know nobody. Mr. Number. Anderson. It's the smell. <laughs> that's some Damn. racist shit. That's some next that's level. That's some racist that shit. That let you know right. that movie was written for a black man. I that's can tell crazy. you right now, I come here and I just never could get over the stench. You like, man, fuck you. <laughs> so you <laughs> said, he was basically saying, it smells like niggas. Niggas in here. Stinks. That's what I heard. Damn. Yeah. That's what I heard. Ain't it crazy though we just survived all this racism? Technology racism. Nigga, we probably didn't survive more racism in our racism. lives than the previous motherfuckers ever had. You know what? I'm, I'm glad you said that. I got a, a, a something that's that's considered to be a hot take, and I respect you brothers' minds on another level. So I'm going to ask what y'all think about oh, it. Shit. Oh, shit. Bro, don't start no shit. I ain't going to start no shit. At least I don't think I am. You know what I mean? But I got to ask, because I got to get the perspective of two niggas who think on the level that y'all think. And anybody can chime in at any point if you want. I personally believe oh, shit. that crack cocaine did more damage to black people than slavery. And I'll tell you the reason, one of the reasons why. Because what took 400 years to do, crack did in 10. From 80, let's say 84 to 94. In 10 years, the damage that crack cocaine caused to the black community or the, just black people in general all across America was, you can never bounce back from it. Is the crack era over? Yes, the era is over, but crack is, you know what I mean? That's why I personally believe that baking soda is the worst thing that ever happened to niggas, man. Cause cocaine been around forever. Niggas been doing coke, niggas been doing drugs, but when they hit it with that arm and hammer, it turned into something that destroyed a community, bro. What is in that shit? You can clean okay. your teeth with it, get corrosion off your car, 
put it in your refrigerator, nigga. Make cookies. Make with cookies. It. <laughs> but when you hit it with some, when you mix it with some cocaine. And a little cold water. And some cold water. <laughs> and, and, well, and I mean, put, I and put a fork in it and scrape that. And, and boy. Yeah. I'm talking about for real. Yeah. My personal opinion, mm -hmm. I think that. Some people disagree, some people agree, but I personally believe that that's the case. Because during that time of, of, of you know, the, the, the oppression, which is still going on now, we had a commonality of knowing we are being oppressed. But when they dropped that dope off, we was like, nigga, every man for himself. I got ounces and half ounces all day long. Nigga didn't give a fuck about what happened to you no more. And this the crazy it, it part ain't about the apples. This the crazy but thing about crack, bro. The longer you stay around, I want to hear y'all. The longer stack, right. you stay around some crack, your probability of smoking it goes up a hundred percent. Cause ninety percent of the it? niggas who was selling crack ended up on the shit. But I'm saying, but look at the young people. It's like if you saw, if you grew up with somebody that was on crack, these motherfuckers ain't fucking with crack. <laughs> huh? <laughs> nah, go ahead, young nigga. Okay. But see, but that's what I'm saying. Because they saw it firsthand. You, you see, right, but you see what it did to a whole, I'm talking about in 10 years, my nigga. How old are you, young nigga? 22. 22 years old. His nigga was born in 99. Cash money taking over for the 99 and 2000. And he mm -hmm. know this some shit I can't fuck with. Ever. Like, yeah, it's nothing that ever. Did. But I don't know. But say it, I can't say slavery, it was worse than slavery though. It yeah, was fucked up. Slavery was a whole. I think slavery gonna always be number one. Not unless some new shit happened. More was made off of it. More was taken off of. It. You know what I'm saying? Like crack. Like maybe you could put it to that. If we got to keep that money, we ain't get to keep none of that crack That's money. The part that, that crack make it money the worst. gone. They, they, let money niggas show, they, they let us, they gave us the, the tool to show how brilliant black men were. Think about all of these legendary niggas they make all of these documentaries about who made hundreds of millions of dollars. Sell, these are, even though they were selling drugs, these are brilliant business minds that are now incarcerated for the rest of their lives for selling some shit that was given mm -hmm. to the community. Yeah, they were part of, they got caught up in the game. It got us both ways. Slavery was one way, nigga. You are a nigga and you belong to me. You can't read, you can't, you can't do nothing. You can't, you run away, we cut your foot. It was horrendous. I read the slave narrative, it was fucking horrible. But crack made us do it to ourselves, bro. Like to where you look at a nigga and say, you know what? I don't give a fuck that that's my partner's mama. I don't give a fuck that it's my partner's father. I don't give a fuck that I know it's turned the family up. I got to get this money. Because your people on crack. All the way around, bro. It, destro it destroyed us. It destroyed us, bro. It, was, it, it destroyed us. I truly believe it just Whatever was left of the community. We got black neighborhoods. Now. But then no you got to keep in mind. Then crack was the, wasn't on crack. Crack everybody was the second was epidemic, though, bro. Heroin, heroin fucked it up before South. crack. But, her, but that's portion. what I'm saying. Heroin has been around Unless they for, were somewhere for years. Else. But see, you say everybody was affected by slavery. Every, everybody in the South for the most part. Everybody is yeah. affected by... You got crackhead in your family? Probably. You got crackhead in your family? You don't... He the crackhead in his family. Oh, okay. <laughs> It's, it's more than one. Don't act like it's just one crackhead. Yeah, Everybody got about 10. You, it, it's, it's a junkie. Yeah, we, got a whole, we got a whole family. branch of crackheads in my family. Yeah, it's affected every family. It's right up the middle, too. It's a crack branch. It's, it's flimsy. We hope it is going to fall out, but it's strong. It's, it's strong. strong. It's a whole guy's powered by crack. Side of the family powered tree by that's crack. on crack. Crack. Do you know what you can power with Big crack? ass hole in the family <laughs> tree. <laughs> by crack. Do you hear me? Crack family veins over Did you there. imagine if crackheads was walking around with t-shirts that said that on it? Powered by crack? Man, that's, that's making a statement right there. That crack preserve you. That's why crackheads be that same. Oh, man, wait till that commercial come oh. out. If you smoke crack from 1994 to 2006, you may be entitled to government compensation. Yeah, I woo. We made it. We sorry. We got to pay y'all. What, what if we some old ass? We sorry. We got to pay y'all. Damn. That'll, that'll might, that might happen. We might be able to sue them for that shit before we get some right. reparations. We did make it. We sorry. Yeah. We sorry. We, sorry. we showed y'all how to make it. All you got to do is prove that this crack came from the government. We sorry. 
Man. We would have to hire some scientists, we would do some and they would have to do shit. some lab tests, and they would have to break that shit back down to cocaine just, to find out where it came from. You ain't got to do a scientist, money. they ain't already did that. What if that? they just let niggas out of jail? You know but how do you really want these research? niggas outside with us? Uh, some of them, yeah. <laughs> it's just family. You yeah. Know. Nigga, that don't matter. Some motherfuckers don't need to be in the world. But niggas that went in for, uh, for crack ain't them for niggas. Weed. You don't know what they've been doing since they've been in there. Sick they in there. That's yeah, they didn't never <laughs> think they was coming home. They done got a, used to living in prison, nigga. They done did some shit, and they need to stay in there doing it. <laughs> Y'all always hollering about let motherfuckers out, bro. Leave them motherfuckers where they at. Nah, not them niggas that went in for them nah. long drug offenses. Let them niggas man, out. Man. Them, them niggas, niggas been in jail let for 40 niggas. years. Let you what they go. gonna come out here and do? Let them go. Let Open them go. the dispensary. Nigga, let, let them go, because they can come out here and help the community, man. And come just on. help rebuild bro, the community. These are the same motherfuckers that's been terrorizing niggas in jail, because they thought they wasn't never coming home. Got <laughs> They not as innocent as you. They not. These not the niggas who like, bro. Just hey, man. Can you be get, these niggas got knives yeah, this yeah, motherfucking yeah. big and shit. Cause that's the environment. You know what I mean? Okay. You, now you letting them out. When I get home, I'm gonna do art. <laughs> right. Exactly. You don't want making paint. You don't watch hey, TV. That's it, baby. They I just interview all these niggas. I saw cartoons. <laughs> right. That's it. Let Melt, me get home. That nigga in jail. You think I want to shake niggas? Melting skittles down, making Come beautiful on, portraits. I want to make cakes. I and, you gotta, cake and, you, and you're not incorporating the fact that these niggas ain't had no pussy and I don't know how long. I'm just playing devil's advocate, Chico. Sometimes you have to factor in that maybe you got to let everybody out. No, you can't let everybody out. There you out. go. Don't but say niggas, that. Part. No, no, no. I'm talking about the niggas that, that Some niggas might not 30, leave. 40 years for having an ounce of crack on them. An ounce. That's a lot of crack. An ounce of crack but is that's a, a lot of crack. Why is an ounce only a lot when it comes to drugs? Because an ounce is nothing in any other, you like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, any other term of measurement, an ounce is very small. Because it's, it's enough for two people. What if a woman gave you an ounce of pussy? No, I would most happily accept it. You know how long an ounce of pussy would last me? <laughs> Shit. I don't need a pound of pussy. I don't need a pound of pussy. What am I doing with all this pussy? pussy? Nigga, I'm rolling right, up skimps out there. I'm rolling up some so skimpy out the pussy pound. Pussy out. <laughs> man, why why you why that piece of pussy so little? Cause that's how I smoke <laughs> mad, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Oh shit. Oh. Oh, my yeah, I'm skimpy. That's my nickname. Hey man, Ren is skimpy. Ren is skimpy. <laughs> skimpy wimpy. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh. Hey, I stretch an ounce of pussy. Literally. <laughs> man, that was the I oh, you need about an ounce. That's it. No, a dollar a dollar but do you? I don't know, man. <laughs> the black community fucked up. Where we at, no? What? Where we at? About the drugs. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. You that half? No, I just forgot what we were no, talking about. No, we were because you I asked. I said house of pussy, and then it just, you know, you I started switched thinking gears about yeah, 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 I started thinking about it. Let's talk about pussy, bro. This yeah. is a great ounce. platform for black men to be able to speak about pussy. Yeah, that's why I was just thinking about it. We don't put it on the scale. It. We don't, I'm yeah. not. Right. I'm going to eyeball Too much the way you're going to eyeball the way. Oh, I'm going to eyeball the pussy. Because I feel like we should have the type of relationship, but we shouldn't have to weigh up. Yeah. I'm yeah, like, I trust you. Free range pussy? <laughs> free range. Cage free. <laughs> Cage free. Cage free pussy. Ooh. All Man. right, I'm going to ask you a question. That's mm -hmm. great. All right. Is regular woman pussy better than whole pussy? Ooh. Be honest. Regular. She got what, quite, what, but you know, you these got are what, Jeopardy what, questions. What, what, what is, <laughs> like, I got to use a, a lifeline on that one. What do you consider to be regular woman? A woman who ain't got a lot of street mouths. A woman who hasn't had a lot of sexual partners as opposed to a woman who you knew was liberal with her sex. Ah. That's the better way to put it, ain't yeah. it? Damn, what did you say? So with like a sexually liberated woman oh. versus a woman who hasn't participated in a lot of sexual Lack of activity. participation. Yeah. <laughs> but that doesn't necessarily mean she's not sexually liberated, though. You but I'm I mean? saying someone who's more reserved who's sexually more reserved versus sexually. a sexually versus liberated woman. Ah, that's... T you said she liberated. Yeah, I mean... So I you saying if she done fucked more people, <laughs> basically... 
for the niggas. If she fucked a whole bunch of motherfuckers. Right. But versus not having fucked as many, right. but you not considering what How the not as fuck as many did when she was fucking. Right, that's what. But that's see, the part we're I'm not. That's the, not the part of the question, though. That's a whole nother. Answer. I'm just okay. So that's, you, you're, you're, I'm asking is, an addition. Which one is better? You're trying to get to multiplication. Yeah, which one is better? I'm um, saying your personal opinion. Personal opinion. Um, because we want to dispel some myths. I would say regular woman pussy because of what you can teach <laughs> why the fuck are you laughing joe what the fuck are you trying to teach this pussy look even the 22 year old nigga like what are you, what are you trying to teach this pussy <laughs> hey, hey you, you actually you. got a good point though nigga back that pussy gonna be what it wanna be. Get down. But no 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 see you, you, you he, he at the young stage see he's 22 all he doing but, yeah, you know I mean, I'm talking about he just coming in straight. <laughs> he just fucking, huh? dick out, fucking. <laughs> Hurry up, Uchi Kuchi. Yeah, this nigga, that's what he doing. Like we passed that thing. You, you not even qualified to even participate. He ain't even fucking. Yet. He having sex. You still, yeah, exactly. You still having sex. You, you know, he don't get. He still this young nigga having sex. He still at twenty two. This nigga out here having sex for him. This nigga soon he. I was smoking him. weed. I'm having sex. <laughs> Stop, man. Stop, all this, <laughs> stop having all this sex, man. That's what he doing now. So you you would disqualify your nigga. I know why you said it. What you teaching the pussy? You just go in and you go in. And what do you do? This is what you fucking do. So all you got to do is just put it in and go like this, nigga. You still fucking like the porn you watch, nigga, like that. Leave that young nigga alone. <laughs> you no. know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. You got to no. understand we had a different stage, my nigga. When I say teach, young nigga, I talk about the sexual experience that you can create with this woman versus a woman who has been See, so you threw them off because you don't usually go that deep. Yeah, virtuous woman who has probably had every type of sexual experience that you can have with a man. Stop, man, stop. Stop. Can't quit, man. Nigga, quit. Nigga quit. be looking around like somebody coming like, I can't no. believe this shit. I can't believe it. Holy shit, I'm in the pussy. Oh, man. I right, you ain't gonna fall. Oh, I know, right? The table ain't straight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See how strong he said it when he said it? Though? What you gonna teach the pussy? Hey, man. What you gonna teach the pussy, nigga? <laughs> hey, man. That nigga got a debatable point, though, bro. The one thing you know, that's for sure. Pussy, so pussy hard headed, man. Pussy hard headed, bro. I'm telling you, you have to reprogram the pussy. Sometime. Disobedient. Yeah. Hey, that's what I'm saying. Can you do that with a woman that is liberated and, and, and a hoe in your in your terminology? In the terminology. I'm not my terminology. In the yeah. terminology. That's why I took that man. Yes, in the terminology. <laughs> oh, Can you reprogram one? That has been, you know, some shit you just can't be rebooted. Yeah, it's the mulligan in the shit. That's why I asked because it's like basically what he said. It's like nigga. You know, pussy reset itself. So you can teach whatever you want to, but that means you you there. I'm talking about in the collective of pussy world. <laughs> Church girl coochie, club girl coochie. Okay, Church so which, girl. What, what is your what is your your stance on it? Church my, girl. My my stance your is that stance. women that are sexually liberated have better sex because they already know what they want. Okay, so that's what I'm saying. You, you uh, don't women, a woman who is not teaching. sexually liberated wants you to find what sexually she wants. Right. A woman what I'm who's sexually liberated knows what she wants, and she will show you, nigga, right here. This is what you do to this pussy. Circles. Right. I mean, that's cool. That's cool, and that saves you some time. But you know, what I mean, you. It makes the experience sometimes better. Sometimes you be, able, you can bring out a parts of a woman that she didn't know that she had inside of her. You didn't know she didn't know that she can get this nasty until you came in. You talking about squirting. Oh, yeah, nah. I mean not just that. Just that's very job. that's very exciting. You know what I mean? That's like when you exciting. bring it out when she when Big she money. timid and, and you can see it. But then like over time you realize that she's down with the shit for real now and you know that this didn't exist before you came in and put your spin on it. Yeah. That's why I would say I'm gonna do that to anyway, whatever she do. I mean that exactly. You can't help it if you're a certain type of nigga. So it, for me, <laughs> whatever she got going on. Fun of. The, I'm uh, coming baby. through like puppy. I'm about to remix the pussy. This is the remix. <laughs> <laughs> Bad boy. <laughs> Clayton, what say you? I say I say I say the good girl. Or the 
the the not the regular woman as you put it, but she ain't regular. She you know she abnormal. It's it's some abnormal things here, not that Ooh. you might come across I got some another. of the most fascinating and intriguing of pussies that you wouldn't get from somebody that's you know what I'm saying, yeah. seen it all, done it all. That's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? That's but that's the point. thing about point, seen it might, all, it's, done it it's, all. It's, it's a water. Have bar. they really? Like you said, if you could t if you could come through and create a moment. So you say I'm that, saying you could create create a moment either way. They only been fucked like my man. You can tell, you can tell the girl. That's what he was saying. That's why I said he ain't all the way wrong. Cause look, I'll be looking at you can't look at pussy like the opponent. Like you gotta look at like you gotta show up to the pussy like a chef. It's like I'll be showing up like, can you be goddamn Bobby Flay? Like, nigga, whatever the fuck it is, I'm about to make the shit can better. Can you make it? Can you cook with this? What? When I put my little garnish on the pussy? Little seasoning. Little red wine uh, motherfucking reduction? Vinaigrette? No. <laughs> this ain't even pussy no more when I finish. This is pussy. Pussy. Le pussy. Pussy. Le vagina. <laughs> vagine. Le vagine. Le vagine. We have a pussy pie. We have a le vagine. I've made pussy like, top top. Like top chef. <laughs> what do we have here? Well, this is a little le pussy. It's topped with some uh, garnish. This is my rendition of Rose pussy. Mary. With a, oh, I made. have bacon. Those represent the lips. We have a very special pussy paella <laughs> with clam sauce. Is that pineapple sauce? <laughs> <laughs> and a mango chutney. <laughs> chutney. What I made today chutney, is boy. a smoked pussy with uh, a nice roasted vinaigrette, uh, sour cream, and a little bacon bits for the crunch. Okay. So I smoked this pussy for 12 hours. <laughs> That's what you have with yours. I actually poached this pussy. <laughs> I cooked this pussy sous vide. <laughs> In a little bag. Well, I was a little different. I actually broiled the pussy to give it a nice crunch on top and make it feel tender on the inside. <laughs> yeah, you have to seal that flavor. They have to seal in the flavor of the. Oh, so I wanted to go in a whole nother direction, and I made uh, a pussy creme brulee. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> no, that is hilarious. You can never put that show on TV, but I'd watch oh, the shit man. out of it, nigga. Oh, <laughs> nigga, who gonna be the freaking nigga that eat the blueberry pussy? I don't know. Come that on. sounds delicious. <laughs> man, I miss y'all niggas, man. That this shit is just, crazy. This is the funniest shit. You said in the world. you said you want to talk about. Man, this is the funniest shit in the world, man. You did it. You did it. I know, but this is the funniest shit in the world. Like they, it, like you gotta understand. Okay, I, I'm gonna ask you this question. Well, we can do this shit, man. It don't. There's not too many spaces that exist where you can talk the shit be you want to talk and be. This who the you question are. for yeah. you, Chico. Be who you love you actually are. are. Yes. What? type of pussy do you think influenced some of your favorite songs? Oh my God. I was just, I talk about this on stage now, like the different eras of pussy. Like 90s pussy had to be the best pussy ever because of the, the music that it inspired. Like the music that it made niggas make where niggas said, like described the whole, last night I was inside of you. Nigga, he saw the sun, the moon, the mountains, the rivers and heaven. I mean, I mean, I, I, it's been an hour since you've been gone, and that's too long, so come back home, my <laughs> nigga. Like, that is a different era. But the 70s pussy, I would be terrified of that pussy. That, that pussy, pussy, was, that that pussy, pussy was, was different because LSD. that pussy would make niggas whole. Like, if you lose your girl in the 70s, both you niggas got to help me find her. <laughs> like, that's a totally different type of pussy. When you lose it, it's like, hey, nigga, she gone. I need you. Oh, what we need? And empty her face everywhere I go. In the streets or even at the picture show. Have you seen her? Like, that's a different era right there. Stupid. That's a different era. So I think that, personally, I think that 90s pussy had to, that 10 year period had to be the best pussy that was ever given in, in, the, in, the, in the, all of the decades of, at least when you compare it to music. When you put it into the music that was made because of it, don't nothing get better than the 90s. In the 90s, them niggas was singing all the way. I'm talking about 
to the core, letting you know. Boy, Jane wanted what was in I'm them thinking, jeans I'm so bad. Hard. I'm, I'm thinking of era. That yeah. nigga wanted what was in them jeans so bad, boy. And that was after the 90s. That was early 2000s. That was the 2000s. So you got to respect that era, too. But the 90s, man, like the 90s R&B music. I'm going to tell you at what point in the 90s when I think pussy was at its best. I want to say between like 92 and 94. Whenever H-Town took off. Knocking with, the with knocking the boots. That nigga, did you hear how that nigga came up? I'm just, yeah. He didn't wait on nothing. That That's nigga it. was singing before the music started. That's what the pussy make they you do. They put the music on and he was already singing. That's what the pussy make you do. That nigga put it in my like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bro, if, if you got some pussy that had you saying, good love and body rock and knocking boots all night long. If you got if you got some of that pussy this weekend, nigga, it'll fuck you up. My question is, where did the boots come into play? Huh? Now that was just that was turn somebody rocking, knocking the boot, knocking boot. He just made something up. Knock a boot, but no, okay, no, he didn't. No, nah, because when you point, hear, if you walk by and you hear somebody point, fucking, he'd be like, is somebody kicking some boots or something? But at that they point, knocking boots, boots was popular. Yeah, poetic justice. All that little time period where bitches was wearing them little boots. Yeah, so and maybe they was fucking with, with the boots on. on. Let you think you about fucking silk. Bitches with boots. Silk said, "Let me lick you up and down till you say, let me nigga." That was the nigga came straight on the song. Cause tonight, baby, I wanna get freaky with you. Like, but he's nigga. smart enough to say until you say stop. Cause after you eat the pussy and shit, nothing about two good times for it real. It gets painful. Yeah. Shit, gonna, stop. Give me some. <laughs> give me some. Give me some. Give me some. Give me some. Jodeci. Jodeci. I mean, I'm just saying. Come on. Cry for you. What? Cry for you. Yeah, man. I yeah, don't got some know. So good. I don't know. What but I'll like? cry. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck gonna happen, nigga, but base, bottom line, I'm crying. I'm you know crying. what? That's, if you take this pussy away from me. That's actually two songs in Bare one. minimum tears. If you just take, you can split that song right at the end when they start doing the begging part. That's a whole goddamn song. To me. I'm begging. Baby, I'm begging, be, I'm begging, begging, baby, be, I'm begging. It's like, nigga, that, just the 90s, man. If you look at it, I know it's. It's cliche to talk about this person now because he's in a whole hold bunch up, wait, of hold before on, you hold switch on. gears. Before you switch gears, <laughs> Chico. I'm sorry. Chico, before I'm you sorry. before you hold switch on. gears though. Hold on. Before you, you can't switch talk gears. about you I'm, can't. I'm sorry, man. Talk about I, you can't. You can't, you leave, you can't right leave out of Jodeci without bringing up Phoenix. Oh yeah. Come I on. can't leave you alone. You got me fiending. And this, mm. and like you said now, this at the height of the crack era the, the, too. The, yeah, come on. Right. right. Come For on. them to compare right. this girl to being on some shit that nobody want no parts of. And ain't nobody ever really got off. You can't get off it. You can stop smoking it, but you ain't never off it. When Jodeci still wore got leather. a little bit left in me. Yeah. yeah. When they wore them leather, that leather shit in the middle of the desert or whatever the fuck that was. I knew them niggas was different then. Hey. <clears throat> yeah. But you even think about the, the songs that the women made back then, like nigga. Medina Howard? Nigga. Mary J. Blige carried that, had a whole moment right in the middle. Of yeah, she, I mean, she had what? the whole moment all the way through. You know what I mean? Like, she's she the queen. She's the moment, man. Like, she's the queen. Uh, she makes songs so good, niggas feel bad for the shit Mary be singing about that right. a nigga did to her. She right. got that guilt trip mu uh, music. Music all Like, the way. when you go through some shit with your girl and she play that Mary J, you know my she life is real. gonna be just fine. If you hear that, everything's not fine. Yeah. Nothing you said works pretty. <laughs> Everything fine. is not fine. Fine, fine, fine. fine it's fine, fine for fine, her, fine. not oh, your ass. Fine. Everything is fucked up, buddy. For you, you is over. It's, it's not, over. Everything is not you fine. You can just leave. That song is a warning sign. Well, whatever you did, it's Man. over. Tony Braxton, nigga was hitting Tony Braxton so good, she said if the nigga left, she wouldn't breathe no more. That was about a nigga choking her. I don't know, that's what I heard. I heard bro, bro, what the fuck? I'm sorry. But I gotta no, find no, other no, people no, to be no, around. No, 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 that's not this case. Because you I'm almost sorry. had me until I thought about I'm the lyrics. Bro. I was like, wait a minute, Clayton. But no, she said if you leave, I won't breathe. If he would have stayed, she wouldn't be breathing if that was the case. See, that, maybe. that I think, I think, <laughs> maybe. I think she liked to be choked a little bit. Or that's, that's, uh, whoever wrote the song, that was, that's, that's what I get from it. Song, you oh, so we were talking about good pussy songs, bro. How about that song, You Make My Love Come Down? 
Yeah, see, that's a different that era. That whole song is about that's having the wet 80s. pussy. That's the eighties. Like, see, the eighties was different too. Like, yes, them motherfuckers. Yes, you know what I mean? Like, that's that's when you had Love. that ready for the world. Let me know now. Even if it takes all night, niggas was it, that's sweet see, voice. In the eighties, it was be, it was niggas better was than sweet voice than the motherfucker. Yeah, it was better that to ask for the pussy for a longer I time did. in the eighties. In the nineties. Like, I guess some of the 80s had carried over to the 90s because we had been, you know, like 80s songs took a long time. You would beg for the pussy to the end of the song. Yeah, like, you, you sweat. You would say some And then shit in the 90s, it. niggas just was knocking boots as soon as the shit came on. Yeah, yeah. all the way. <clears throat> you would skirt around it in the 80s. You would say little clever shit. Little and then in the 2000s, shit. Ring my bells, little shit like yeah. that in the yeah. 70s. See, when niggas too. like Trey Songs and them came in, the door was already wide open. Now that nigga had the freedom to come out and just say it in the beginning, which one of y'all going home with Trigger? You ain't even heard the song. <laughs> That was that nigga opening statement. Which one of y'all coming home with trigger? What, what song is this? <laughs> the one where I fuck you, bitch. I'm about to take off my shirt. Yeah. Mr. Steel and show your girl. them my dick. Yeah. Mr. Steel, your girl. <laughs> that's why he come on. Is Mr. Steel your girl? Hey, like, nigga, he got that kept shit on out. Yelling, my nigga. That's you a good club. point. He came in yelling. Is Mr. Steel your girl? Like, bro, like, you gonna steal my girl? Yes. <laughs> you gonna come get her. You gonna steal her. Hey, man, this song right here, this fucking song hurt us more than it helped us as the nigga community. I don't What's that? When Chris Brown dropped that, when a rich nigga wants you and your come nigga on. can't do nothing for you, boy. Now that one right there, these yeah. hoes ain't loyal. I'm yeah. telling you, I don't yeah. know like on the list of shit that was out to get us, but nigga, that song is right there on like no yeah. 21 or something. Yeah, that was, yeah, that was that was hard on the regular because right it, there. To the, the way the nigga way nigga he said it, he sung the <laughs> shit. Got rich. It wasn't an anthem for <laughs> us. He just got rich just now, and the first thing he did. Was take a broke nigga bitch. That's hateful. You didn't buy a that's, car. That's hateful. You didn't buy a chain. See? You didn't do none of that shit. See, it's black men. Yeah, this, is, this is the type of shit we got to talk Chris. about. It's Chris Green. Speak Chris. on it, bro. Dancing his ass off. And the point of view that Jesus he took on the bitch. song let us know that it wasn't for us. And this was letting us know. Loyal. Yeah, but Jesus, you took her. She would have been fine. But, like, why you take that nigga you girl to prove a point? And took her. Oh yeah, I saw you New. and him walking, walking in, in the, the rain. rain. Yeah, you know how, that's why I'm saying I'm scared of that pussy. Like to make you follow somebody in the rain. You seen the video? This nigga had no umbrella or nothing. I should have been just walking the across the street with a goddamn <laughs> trench coat on, just wet than a bitch, looking like he almost okay, shot that dude, <laughs> man. Clayton, you heard what he said at the end? Right. He right. said, "Oh, I should have went and grabbed the Jimmy." <laughs> Listen, <laughs> you and this chicken make nothing. <laughs> this nigga said it's he my He called that world. nigga. You just a squirrel trying to get a nut. That nigga was mad about that. Now, I ain't, boy, that's a whole nother All right, word boy. right there. Niggas that got their heart broke on the record. I'm going to tell you one that get overlooked sometimes. Tank, maybe I deserve it. That's one of my favorite songs. Yes, I cheated on you. That nigga. <laughs> I'm like, what are you nah, doing, that ain't bro? the <laughs> To grab my coat. And, and chase, chase you down, down the, street. the street. Do you know how much thought it goes in when you that mad that you about to chase her and then think it's chilly out there, bitch? Hold and up, wait. grab your coat? Wait. Because yep. you know you're not going to stop. I got to make sure I got everything I need to catch her. Oh, you didn't listen to the rest of that part? Like the end of the song where the shit be fading out and that nigga said, just grab your neck and you until you let me know. Yeah, he was beefing on that one. He was beefing because that's she did the same thing to him. That's why I tell niggas all the time, bro, don't play that game. You can't hurt her like she can hurt you. Woo! It's gonna feel different. It's gonna feel different when that nigga called at two o'clock in the morning and you she say it's just my homeboy. Woo! I'm gonna tell you a nigga that was hurt, hurt. Who? Who's hurt? On separated. Oh yeah, he was yeah. That nigga said, every time I see you, I get, get a, a bad, bad vibe. vibe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Just thinking of someone else in between your thighs. <laughs> and you thought you was slick, had tricks up your sleeve. Whenever a nigga hold up, this is the part that fucked him up. And I'm sick of your stupid ass, and I know you tired of me. When a nigga add them, when a nigga take a word and add like eight syllables to a four, five letter word, 
That nigga say, up your sleeve. Ain't serious about that shit. Niggas Now nah, that bitch had a long sleeve. Ain't nobody back. You know what? You that know bitch had a lot of tricks. had a lot of tricks in the sleeve. <laughs> What you mean? I don't have nothing in my sleeve. Nigga, pull it all the way out. Hey, on a whistle sleeve. <laughs> he was there to just dress like Prince. Bunch of shit fall out. Is that a dick? You dirty bitch. That dick's on her sleeve, my nigga. Imagine just playing that at the barbershop, man. You know what happened to me last night? My bitch took her coat off, but dick fell out of her sleeve. My what nigga. if that's what he said first, but they made him change oh. it? You had dicks up <laughs> your sleeve. <laughs> <laughs> bro, we got to change that line, bro. We got to change got that line. line sleeve, you thought you were sleek, had dicks up your sleeve. Mm, hey, man, mm, mm, it's a bit some hurt. You know who else was hurt, Clay? Who? Uncle bro. Sam. Man. Come on. That nigga was. Yeah. I don't that, ever want to see I don't ever want to see it. said early one morning. Why? This, is, was, this was a nigga going through a girl phone before you can go through a girl phone. Right. He made that song. Nigga wrote a letter to this nigga. Hey man, just wanna let you know, I'm fucking your bitch. No disrespect. No disrespect. No disrespect. You know what I mean? No, and I know I'm your best friend and all that, but my nigga, this pussy, I had to. I sat here and wrote this letter, so you know I respect you. But I just wanted to leave it, you know what I mean? Early in the morning when you first wake up, you know, you get your day started, right. so you can have a whole day to right. think about it and figure it out. Yeah. But uh, yeah, this 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 me now. You know what I mean? Like that nigga. Niggas be, you know who else was mad? Genuine. Genuine was mad on that. Uh, Which one? Oh, said, I'm gonna let my fingers down to the bone. <laughs> That's how he came straight on the song, nigga. He ain't say nothing else. He just came straight, bitch, I work my fingers down to the bone. Yay, yay. <laughs> I put it down from nine to five, so you should know. <laughs> then a nigga talked to himself. He said, "And hey, you know what else? <laughs> <laughs> I bust my ass so you could live good." <laughs> like that nigga was beefing, bro. Genuine <laughs> gave us one of the best side nigga anthems of all time. What's that? It Only when that. you're lonely. Facts. Oh yeah. Sure. Hey, but you was talking about Uncle Sam, the, the fucking ad libs on that song that you know that nigga was really hurt. Yeah, when that nigga was, was like, I don't, I don't. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he was hurt, hurt. Then a the nigga from Boys to Men, he ain't even, he just came in talking. Yeah, you did me so wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I was blind, but now I see he. Them niggas was boy. That's what I'm saying. That music in that era, but the '90s. They gave you every emotion. Now it ain't like that no it more. Now they put that beat, put that hoe, put that beat, put that hoe, put that beat. Don't nobody it. love these hoes no more. Put that beat, put that hoe, put that beat. Huh? Future ain't that shit. Oh, nah, Future got some joints too. He, you thought, know, babe, like, he, he a pussy I'm in a pain relationship in the music. with all my bitches, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I need to cut some of them off. I need, need help. help. <laughs> 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 Head bitches, I want them for myself. I'm like, nigga, you already got the whole ah, roster. Ah, you got bitches to fire. He's talking about getting new bitches. Bro, that nigga said, this nigga I'm got a bitches on the team. With all my bitches yet. I need to That's cut a the whole nigga. Nother... He was pleading for help. I wonder if anybody helped I need future, to man. That nigga don't want no help. Now he help. see ass for it. He see that's the type of shit he say. Then he'll come right back and say, if she catch me cheating, I never, never tell him sorry. sorry. I mean, hey. This I'm the same the dirty over you. Bitch, you know, I ain't scared to lose you. Oh, this God. the same nigga that said, it don't fuck with my conscience. I served my auntie there, bro. Yeah. Come on, man. I Tell just, my grandma I don't need a bell. Sleeping on the, the floor. floor. <laughs> that shit like church. He tell you in all his songs what <laughs> he that doing. Nigga said, this young nigga said, that shit like church. That shit like church. <laughs> that shit like church. I don't told never, you that nigga go bust yeah, don't, don't think he hurt. I don't think he hurt. <laughs> Ah, bitch. Dirty Sprite, bitch. Hi. <laughs> Future ain't hurt. <laughs> I'm telling you. All the way. No. He told you on the song, I just be fucking these hoes. I don't be cuffing these hoes. I mean, you <laughs> man got a point. But nigga, not in the 90s. They was cuffing them in the 90s, and they was sick. I listened Dave to Future Hollister religious. Dave Hollister got a cold ass song that, about getting his heart broke, man. You know what I mean? That nigga, what, what the fuck is that, My that Dave nah. Hollister? Carl Thomas got one, too. For real? What's the Carl Thomas? I wish I never met him. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's a good. <laughs> he was you talking? Uh, nah, not my favorite girl, the Dave Hollister joint. Nah, um, girl, I gotta go. I can't stay. You said things would change, 
But girl, things are still the same. And them niggas was serious, bro. That nigga said, when we first oh, met. Oh, this the same nigga. Fine. That ain't the coldest shit, Dave. When Dave came on the song and said, girl, what's wrong with your shady ass? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he always Waking me up early, early. in mm. the morning. Still yawning. Don't you know a nigga half asleep? Yeah. Why the hell you keep on paging me? Man, listen, man. Some of y'all, y'all got to come on the show, man, so we can ask y'all some questions about what y'all was going through when y'all wrote these songs, man. Man, we fuck with the R&B niggas. We got it. We got it. Like the creation part. Like, mm. what was the? Like, what did she do specifically to? We'll make just you find the out? niggas who really wrote the song and bring them. It, was, it don't matter. Whoever, somebody got to come. Yeah, because it's gonna good. be it's gonna be a few motherfuckers that was probably the popular songwriters at the time, unless the group ain't do it themselves. But know? still, but the, so. with, with the strength, you got to find and sing that shit. My nigga, you had oh, to, yeah, you no, had to no, tap into some to, pain yeah. to be able to sing some of these songs. Who hurt you? Who? Yeah, that's what it's gonna Life. be. It's gonna be uh, the who hurt you? The who hurt you? The yeah. who hurt you? R and B special coming soon to the network. Eighty five. That'd be dope. Like you just get yeah. niggas to come and tell their story. Cause don't nobody, we don't niggas don't get to tell their story. So the bitch tried to kill me. That's how a lot of them gonna start. Yeah, twice. <laughs> I let the first one slide, then she tried to shoot me the second time. I was like, word, no knife. Like, all right, I can't do this shit no more. <laughs> Damn. It's a hard life out here for a nigga boy. Oh, yeah. We were just yeah. talking about that earlier. Like, how the hell did, well, well, like I said, I don't know if we're supposed to talk about no, this. No, we don't, bro. We bro. don't. Why you, don't we don't, bro. Fucking Chad, man. But I know, but we fucking don't. Chad, we just gonna man. omit that part. Okay, all right. I know. All right, you know how you hey, feel. Man, hey, guys. You know we gotta what? let it go at some point, I know, you guys. I know, man. I'm, 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 I'm working through the process, no, but it's just, right, like, jokes. just to, like, it's, Pick I can't just, I can't just put that no slapping his finger and it's just erased. You have to, man. I, hey. It's right. wrong. Right. Wrong is wrong. Uh, you're right. Wrong is wrong. Yeah. But goddamn, I'm mean, wrong, I, Chico. I, I, have you at me? Wrong. I, I, I know. All right. All right. All wrong. Right. All right, guys. All right, guys. Everybody what be calm. What you do at home is your Everybody business. Everybody be calm. All right. And you got to stop on. playing in the parking lot, too. Yeah, you got to. No, I'm just just <laughs> <laughs> Man, I, I, that's where you lost me, bud. I'm sorry. Yeah, I can't. I'm not gonna, you're not going to tell me. I, I, I get it. Take no, my ride. We understand. Yeah, but, you know. But it's yeah, a process, man. I understand. It's I a process. It. Yeah, yeah, she was. And stop, she cat. Stop, cat. Stop. You see, we're trying to make progress here. You know what I mean? We do not want to be on the list of people who are being chastised and yeah, canceled man. for having a personal Sometimes opinion. You just got to let right? this shit be. Yeah, let it, let it go. You know. What's that Miss Big shit? Which one? How the hell is she your friend and you don't know if she got kids or whatever that nigga oh, said? Busted. busted. Yeah. Go downstairs, cause she busted. Your bags. Pack your bags. That nigga cause crazy. She busted. He had some bobs though. Yeah. And the coldest part in the song is when he sung when he caught her ass in line. Oh yeah. He caught her line a couple of times. Yeah. She was like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> that was her response. Now <laughs> earlier, you <laughs> said dancing. <laughs> yeah. But when I just <laughs> asked, you said shopping. Why? Tell me which one <laughs> you were <laughs> doing. <laughs> How the hell were you shopping <laughs> when you just said dancing? <laughs> That's a cold one, man. <laughs> Yo, he broke that shit. He, uh, you what? ain't never seen a nigga win an argument on a track. All oh, like that. That Not successfully. That nigga went off. What the fuck are you way. talking about, ma'am? It's so many songs where niggas got hurt, but they just, they catch it, so you gotta just listen to them. Yeah, it's, I mean, it had you might get hurt. give you good information. Don't nobody give a fuck when a man get hurt, though. give you good information, Cause it's just like, you a man, you don't, that shit don't supposed to hurt you like that. Why you acting like a bitch? See that shit, but they can turn that shit off and on when they want to. Right. Yeah. Niggas be out here really hurt. For real. Like we was listening to that motherfucking uh, Babyface Ray. When that nigga, young nigga came on the song and said, bitch don't call my phone no more. Go, Go fuck, fuck that, that other, other nigga. nigga. That's the depth of hurt. Yo. They don't give a fuck when man get hurt. Look at Will Smith, he got hurt. He came out that entanglement shit. And then that nigga know. gained all that weight for the first time Shut in his life. Yeah. This nigga was <laughs> That nigga was in shape. Yeah, man. And salute to Will, man. Will. Hey, man, just up, put the man. camera on me. I said that. I know. I, know. I said that. Hey, hey, guys. Hey, guys. That was hey, me. Hey. If I can't talk about the guy, dogs. then we're not going to talk about the guy. All right? <laughs> Fucking play the I don't have any dogs. Well, man, Clay's going to have to answer that. So what was that shit you let your little homeboy 
say about I'm me sorry, on that little man. fucking show, nigga. What you don't think I watch it? <laughs> sorry, huh? I'm sorry, man. <laughs> you don't think I watch it, Clayton, huh? You gonna fuck your career up on that little show, nigga? They didn't invite me over there. I ain't give a fuck. I'm man. sorry, I was we hurt. We probably talk crazy for real. Like, yeah, what's up fuck with you? Fuck Carlos. Man? He already done said it. <laughs> yeah, fuck them niggas over he there. He like, fuck Carlos. Niggas. I fuck I'm with y'all. I'm gonna fuck him up when I, I see him. was his word. I, I, yeah, you know his word. He gonna fuck me up. I'm gonna fuck him up when I see him. Oh, oh, that was his word. Shit out that nigga, nigga. No, this way. Nah, no. Talking about my white booty <laughs> hole look different. Fuck is wrong with that nigga. Why you repeat the shit, Chico? Talking about I didn't say his. That was hypothetical. But you just trying to get Will to get mad again. Uh, no, I'm not. I love Will, man. We would love no. for you to come over. Stop talking about it, hey, bro. Man, turn all this on. Uh, <laughs> I'm saying, all bro. This. Will, Stop talking bro. about it, bro. I'm trying, bro. 40 I'm seconds the before. Loop back, bro. Take Luke all that yes. out. Put a commercial right there. 40 seconds. Put this yeah. door, a t shirt commercial. Yeah, let me do it. Right the funny in part is Joe not going to do it. In there. <laughs> Is not. Yeah, Joe, Joe, like, fuck it, bro. Out. It's comedy, bro. Joe don't edit it's shit. Fucking comedy, that bro. That's all it is, bro. It's fucking comedy, bro. This Give nigga had, Do you know that this every clip that we be like, yeah, take that out. Never get taken nah. out. Give what, bro? What the fuck, bro? It's fucking comedy, bro. This nigga is not an editor. Those guys can't take comedy, bro. What the fuck are they even watching for, bro? It's fucking funny. I'm, I laugh. I laugh. I laughed the whole time. He's not an there. editor. He the uploader. He just <laughs> he just makes sure this shit is continuous. <laughs> It'll be a half of this clip and half of a clip somebody else put. He gonna put new face clip in this bit. Joe don't be editing shit. Hey Joe, take that out. <laughs> hey man, is everything okay with DC, man? I heard him pee peeing, man. <laughs> peeing for a long time. I'm like, damn, Joe didn't even edit out when the nigga went to pee. <laughs> what, bro? It's fucking funny, bro. It's bro, funny. People want to know. Funny. People, people love you guys. Bro. Hey, man, y'all might want to. love you guys. Y'all might want to take out 3715. Clayton was on the phone. <laughs> no, bro. Those are the conversations that people will love about you guys, bro. Those are the things that people want to see. It's those little intricate pieces that Man. make you guys who you are. Man. I got to leave it in there, bro. <laughs> Joe won't take out shit. <laughs> Nigga pull out nine pounds of weed and four guns. <laughs> hey, Joe, cut that. <laughs> bro, there's a whole pocket of people who do the same thing. You're their people. It's fucking comedy, bro. Burn it's that funny. Shit off. Man, it's funny, Burn bro. That shit it's not out. going out of there, bro. You know how many times we've asked Joe to take shit out? Like, oh, oh, yeah, bro. I, then you'd be like, Joe, you ain't taking it out. Oh, man, I missed it. But what mark was it? What was the mark on it? Nigga, be like, hold on. This is my side, bitch. Cut this, Joe. Uh, All right. <laughs> Whole conversation. Yeah, bitch, pull up. Yeah, we in the trap right you, there. You'll oh. see a yellow Riviera outside. And, and a Buick, it's a Buick oh, over here. Look, look, you finally got to admit, hey, I cut those, and you would admit this shit happened on it. I cut those, cut this. No, not us, <laughs> motherfuckers be in here. Hey, man, hey, hey, my, <laughs> cut that out, hey. Joe. Cut, cut the part it. out of you saying, hey, I cut those. Everything else stays, but I do cut, cut the side bitch conversation. <laughs> Joe be at the end of the table like this, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That nigga be like, hey, he hit the button and be like, finally, yeah. I can get some rest around this book. Oh, man. God. Oh, man. Is shit right, uploaded? Two more minutes. Hey, Joe, did you watch it when you finished? No, I ain't seen it yet. I ain't seen it. But you know, this is the only thing. This nigga edited every show. He ain't even seen every show. I just uploaded the shit, man. I don't know what to do. My computer was running slow, bro. I had some cooking on the stove. I was back and forth. But hey, man. It's, it's up there, bro. What the fuck? What do you want me to do? They put it up. Man, let me go get a coffee, man. Put fuck you guys. <laughs> I put it up. My stomach, bro. That's it. Oh, That's it. Whatever it was, it was. Now you just said it. Now it's in there. Hey, hey, Joe, the hey Joe, put the camera on me. Right on Clayton. <laughs> That's why he... That's why it's good that we put more of these motherfuckers out because you just make a person forget with the new show. Like, hey, with these guys, there's another one. No. I mean, you forget about the shit that no. happened in the last one. Like, no, 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 but remember when you said, I didn't say shit, ma'am. All right? Cut just, that part and put this But just know, it. for everybody out there, it's Split. fucking comedy, man. It's fucking jokes. Everybody wants to laugh, That's bro. what we live I in. Laugh. We live in a world where everything ain't jokes. You can't no. make jokes about shit. You just gotta, gotta make jokes about objects. <laughs> 
can't talk about no, no nothing. 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 We Man, done. wait till the motherfucker send the clip back. Hey, bro. Hey, Lo, uh, Angelina Jolie ain't like the little shit you said. <laughs> what? <laughs> She's watching? Oh, my. Man, this shit sucks at this right. point. Because now we running into these niggas and shit. You be like, hey, bro. Oh, wait a minute. I heard that shit you said about me, Well, nigga. guess who'll never work at Warner Brothers? <laughs> what? Y'all watch what you mean? Brothers? Yeah, because we had to flag your page so many times for your Forrest Gump references. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> bro, we love Forrest You mean to tell me this the type of shit that's holding us back? Uh. Don't say that. I know. Can't say shit. Hey, don't. Hey. It's gonna get to a point where we just gonna be sitting here looking at the fucking camera. Yeah. <laughs> say it with your face. What say? Say it with your face. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's off limits. Yeah. Let me take it back to the no. Charlie Chaplin days, nigga. The niggas is just. <laughs> we just gonna be on this bitch doing slapstick comedy. <laughs> you know what? You know what? You know what the first thing? <laughs> Stop doing that. <laughs> Save that Jeez. for when we Please. have to get to that point, man. Gonna be on this motherfucker. I don't know what we gonna be discussing. Oh we got to talk about shit that already happened. Shit that happened already. You get already. in trouble for that too. You could just say like, you could just put a disclaimer. <laughs> but that's just a solution. Do that's a disclaimer now, Clay. Do it. You just put a disclaimer. That's your answer to shit. Yeah, that's how you do it. It ain't even got to say no real shit. <laughs> Just make it small and make it small. We ain't mean that shit. <laughs> hey, if you're reading this, good for you, you little dummy. <laughs> but nothing that we're saying is harmful for anyone. It's just jokes. And this absolves us say disclaimer of everything. Real big. The rest of that shit don't matter. Yeah. Hey, man, who the fuck does TV think they are talking about parental discretion advice? TV is, can't parent no My more. parents would be mad I go wake them up. Hey, to watch this shit. Watch this. Hey, 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 man, get up. I'm trying to watch. Don't, don't watch this with me. <laughs> trying to watch this real quick. Trying to watch SVU. Mm, I'm trying to watch SVU, man. Get up. Get up real quick. Can't wake my goddamn. mama up to watch Look this shit. at the point with me. It's say <laughs> parental discretion is advised. I'm trying to watch these motherfuckers a goddamn punch point. <laughs> oh, better watch that shit. Ask for, for forgiveness, oh, not permission. Man. This is the craziest shit ever. Everything is censored now in a world where you can see anything at any point. Oh, it's All you got to do is pull that phone up. You can pull up anything. Butt but naked on the phone. Immediately. Buzz it open. A few right clicks there. away. Motherfucker jumping off a building. This anything. is the world we live in. But we can't. Censorship in an uncensored world. That's crazy. And it's crazy because you can walk outside and see some shit that you can never pull up. Depending on where you are. Not these days, because everybody got a uh, video camera. Yeah, but I'm saying, nigga, you will see some real shit also. Yeah. Can't censor that. Yeah, that's true. Tell you one thing. We can say what we want. We just can't say what we want to say. You have. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you have, because that you shit makes sense. That shit makes sense like a motherfucker. Yeah. You can say what you want, just don't say what you want to say. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the point right there. Yeah. Because what you want to say yeah. don't necessarily be what you want to say. You can't say what you see either. No. You definitely can't say what you see, because if you say what you see, somebody that might dislike the way you've seen it. Mm -hmm. I don't like the way you saw that shit. You know why? Why? Because it's not the way it looks. Mm. Mm. Is it ever the way it looks? Not to you. Mm. Look at Joe like, this is going to be fucking awesome. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. I'm going to turn this about. part black and white. <laughs> <laughs> Did nobody ask you to do that? That part is still in there. <laughs> this nigga made it grainy. It's eight millimeter and shit. This nigga. What? Bro, I put some effects on it. Oh, you got still mad about that old Will Smith thing. Oh, don't worry about that. He's cool. He's bro, cool, he's, bro. You clean good? What do you mean? Is he mad at you? <laughs> For what? He said he gonna fuck you up. Oh, bro, Clay, Clay's really mad at you, man. It was cool. Cause you didn't take that shit out. I don't edit this show. <laughs> uh, look at Chad, he laughing cause he ain't gonna do shit about it. 
Who Nothing. does edit it? Who edits the edits? Look, the computer. Cat ain't saying sh- Cat ain't saying like shit because everybody mic done fell off at this point. Yeah. <laughs> Nigga hey, shit in this man. My shit all the way in my pocket. That shit y'all was saying, we ain't getting none of that, man. The last hour and a half. As soon as y'all started talking about editing, it dropped out. It dropped out. Dropped out of where? He be like, bro, that was a dope ass show y'all did. We can't use none of that shit because your mic was on your thigh, but hey, man. (laughs) Oh, man, the unusable episodes. Will y'all ever have unusable episodes? What? Listen, man. That y'all package together. Do you understand? That Joe package them all together. Joe has whole entire cities mad at us because (laughs) their episode didn't come out. And we're not telling them all. And when we tell them that the hard drive crashed, they be like, bro, send it to me. Not in 2021? Oh, good, good. What? Everything we filmed is, is out. We have nothing. Huh? Every, everything has no, been No, no, no. Y'all have a blooper reel of unusables. No, no, no listen. They lost been, all that listen, shit. Listen, we have. All we that have shit been lost. A, we have a, you know how they say, like, what are they, a catalog? Right. We have a catalog of shit. That chicken's ready. <laughs> Look, These niggas done put an air fryer on the floor. Yeah. What the fuck is going on, nah, man? That's some shit Joe You got time to sit hey, up man. and put shit some in the air fryer. Some of them niggas got so mad that shit didn't come out. A nigga was like, fuck it, I got the shit on my phone. Bash. I put it out. He put it hey, out. Hey, man. <laughs> hey, man. Y'all niggas wouldn't do it. I asked y'all. Yeah, I'm talking about I'm talking about all types of shows. I'm talking about they got uh, good camera angle. What's the word they no. use? Plethora? We have a plethora of Bro, there have been times when we go to a city and do three shows back to back and do three whole new shows and people be like, So you say it ain't none of this shit. Like nigga, watch all three of them and see. Right. Hey, I really think we'd be lying. Yeah, we got. Really we definitely there. have a, ple- that bitch up, a plethora of of material, Clayton. I'm talking about. I already know. It's it is it is it is. We, we have so much, this. so many we episodes this. of shit that people on YouTube actually think we need. You their know, help I want the unusable way to get shit. With. Stop stealing our content, bitches. I'm telling everybody, you're not helping us. You are oh. actually stealing from a black business. Look at it. Yeah, this is copyright every time I look up, y'all stealing shit. We don't need your help. You don't work Show up us. to your door with a live disclaimer, we don't motherfucker. Stop doing your page. that shit. We don't give a fuck how many views you got on the last shit you stole. Yep. Stop <laughs> stealing our content. That's why we moving to another platform, because y'all just some haters. And y'all, that's why we ain't got, that's why we ain't made it to Ferrari level yet. We still doing shit ourselves. Stealing from us. Y'all don't do that shit to Jake Paul now. Yeah, oh, that's, that's why the motherfuckers on YouTube. Right. That's, that's why the they, white YouTube. They'll stop a Jake Paul, but see, when these issues arise. No, it's because we black and they think that they can just take our content and then get half the views they happy with. That's stealing. Right. You water it in now, you're diluting. Yeah. Don't even ask. This like, is blue nobody, magic. You don't got to do nothing to it. Ain't nobody ever read We don't nothing. need you to trim nothing down for your, your top 10. I don't care if you put Chad. a dog collar on it and call it blue dog shit. <laughs> Just don't call it blue magic. Chad or Joe, has that ever happened? Has anybody ever respected us enough to reach no. out and be like, hey, man, can I use this shit? No. Really? They always just reboot our shit. Chico Bean, top 10 outfits. Yeah. Goofy shit. Greatest moments in Nashville. Nobody asked for this. Yeah. You're not, you're not being creative. What'd you say? We have already discussed not doing this because you do it. So, stolen content on their page. They sent it to me and asked for a job. To show how good they edit our shit? Hey, look what I did. Stop. <laughs> Walt Disney would fuck you niggas up. You wouldn't even be allowed on the internet. You get two times to steal from Walt Disney. It's Mickey over. Mouse you up can't up even door. log into your Facebook page. <laughs> nah, it ain't even gonna be that. You gonna go to take a shower one day and Mickey gonna be in your bathtub with an AK. You ain't gonna even be able to get cable. You the boss, huh? All right, watch this. If you're so good, let me see how good you steal some other cheaper shit. Your whole page is my shit. Nigga, put a movie up. I don't even know you. Put a movie up, nigga. You're not helping me. Put one of HBO shows up on that bitch, nigga. If you that good. Put up an NBA game, nigga. Steal a movie that ain't out yet. Yeah. Put that shit up. Steal a documentary. Put that shit up and then get shut the fuck down. It's four pages on YouTube. 
It's 20. It's 20. It's, it's we easily suing 20. Him. We suing them. Clayton Cochran, Esquire, and Associates. <laughs> We suing Y'all haven't even seen the underscore 85 self show shit, yet. Oh, yeah, oh my know. goodness. Fuck the backspace. Part, fuck that part is they put some we shit up. I ain't seen. I be like, damn, when we do this? Like, where you get this from? Oh, it's something y'all took down, but I had it already. Man. We being real attention. <laughs> Sometimes they put the shit up so fast that, nigga, you just did it. Nigga put it up while the show on. Now, now, and I can respect the people Niggas who do reaction live. videos and stuff. Like, you know, they yes. watch our stuff. But if you're still in the whole But if you just take show. the show and put it on your page. What and are you doing? It up what are you doing? Top 10 moments or five funniest moments. So, you what know, are you doing? Joe won't edit the shit out. <laughs> right. These niggas see an opportunity. It's Joe fault. So they like, we going to edit this shit up. Nigga, it. okay, bro. We're I'm looking for that part with the titties. Okay, <laughs> top ten titties in the building. Joe bullshitting. I don't mean to steal y'all content. I just have a specific part. I don't to see. I thought I was part of the game. That's a, that's a, that's a good point you're making, there, Carlo. That's I wasn't a stealing, point. man. Y'all want this little money? I ain't made for twenty two hundred. You gonna let that come between a real? That's how, that's how you create super villains. No, that's how he fit right. That's, that's how, how you create right. super villains. That nigga mad. Now he mad and come out with the 95 you want the money? North. Like the 95 North show. And this nigga is just really attempting. Every time Joe go to upload some shit, it get the right when it's one second left. That shit just crashed. And, and the crazy part, and the nigga oh, probably Lord. cold. I don't know why y'all ain't fuck with me. I sent my shit in perfect. <laughs> It was edited down. You can hear. I, I turned up the sound with the sound. I knew you got up. the last letter. I wrote the addresses on the bird. Nigga, the whole stand. <laughs> right. <laughs> For real. I, all I'm saying is I want you to believe in yourself like you believe in us. <laughs> no, nah, it's not one man. <laughs> it's a plethora of men. It's a bunch of them. It's a plethora of men. We don't this know if they're boys or not. <laughs> yeah, we're just as responsible. They probably going to hear this part and be like, oh, really? <laughs> Unleash the secret footage of them getting out of their vehicles. All right. Oh, I have footage, Carlos. <laughs> Nigga got a camera right there. Shit. All right. That's where that beat went off. That shit is just, you got to change the reel. Beep, beep, you thought beep. that was a television. <laughs> they know. That's how your sex tape come out. It was my secret camera. They got you in the hotel. You the number booty. <laughs> That'll be fucked up, bro. That'll be fucked up. That is a nightmare you just described. Bro. Nigga fucking fast as hell, too. <laughs> they don't even know that was your last fuck before you left that day. Oh, man. Oh, man. That you know quick fuck. Up that would be oh, your whole man. sex tape is oh. one minute and 15 oh, seconds. Man. Oh, my God. God to oh, I got to get it out of here. It might be time to stop now because you just said some shit that's fucking crazy, bro. Nigga, whole you sex tape out. Waking up and seeing some fucking you did that you didn't know was being recorded, my nigga. Man. <laughs> Bro, you didn't have no, it, like, you didn't it's know only this two was type being of recorded it's at all. There's only two all. type of people. I'm talking about, and they didn't call one of your goddamn mediocre efforts. And nah. put that bitch out you on gonna, the internet. You gonna run with the it. Crazy the crazy part is like, it looked like you was terrifying. with it. It's dick all in the camera. As soon as it come on. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. You like a nigga setting it up. You don't even know. You fucking with the McDonald's bag. <laughs> What'd be even worse is if, you, if they put one out. It looked like you adjusting the camera, nigga. You fixing my dog bag like a motherfucker. Would it be even worse? I got them hands, bro, that. <laughs> if they put one out where you thought you did a great job and the internet get the trashy, you can't fuck for shit, nigga. You done fucked your whole confidence up, nigga. Man. You like, I thought I was killing this motherfucker. Nah, not according to the web. Damn. Damn. Th th that's when they let you know how long you fucked. You can say it a minute. <laughs> now the <laughs> clock right there by the bed. <laughs> nigga fucking a minute and 30 seconds. Right. You like, man, I could have sworn I hit it with five. Nah. I could have sworn I hit it with five. Minute and 30. Minute and 30. Minute and 30. Nigga, the, 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 the nigga that was editing our shows and broke that shit down. <laughs> Top 10 moments from the 85 South Joe sex tape. He done cut, he done <laughs> cut all you fucking one. out. <laughs> what? <laughs> they just keep every one as one. Yeah, yeah. One. The only shit that is the end. <laughs> That's the only highlight, the shit going off. The credits. That was, I gotta get up out of here now. That is a nightmare right there, boy. You wake it's up terrible. and got a sex tape out, you ain't know you recorded it. If you knew you recorded it, then it'd be like, who the fuck? You gotta you drop a, a better one. You know what I mean? That's the only that's thing the only, you can do. That's the only thing you can do. Is now Come you out gotta, with a better one. Now you gotta go and really put a professional one together. Like, give me a red camera. 
Get it right. Right. I'm written out the, the suite of the W, nigga. I got a scene written and everything. You got to hire a porn star to be in there. Yeah. You got to get Tiana Trump. Right. Somebody that really do it. Got to hey, how y'all doing? Yeah. And the, <laughs> and the plaque got to be Hey, hey, I got to do this for my fans. I ain't want to let y'all down. I know, you, I know what you saw. I know you, that ain't me. So Damn, you, you had to do a PSA apologize. You saw me in my worst. Fucking? I want you to see me in my best. <laughs> That's fucked up, bro. You imagine the nigga doing one of them PSAs. First of all, I just want to say uh, to my family. <laughs> and if you thought that was fucking, you ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> oh, man. This nigga. <laughs> I mean, what? what? To, I mean, there ain't nothing to hide at this point. I feel like you know me. I just want to say to my family, I want to apologize for what for what was I'm about up. to do. <laughs> for what I'm about to do. <laughs> this is more for me than it is for you. And if I, I got to go out like job. that, the, I got to go, go out on like my turn. I got to go out on my turn, nigga. This so not me. only is this my real effort, I brought a real <laughs> professional in here. This and she not gonna fake nothing. <laughs> <laughs> and then you throw a blue chew ad in the middle of that motherfucker. Oh, like, this is sponsored. I done I done Come finessed on. the Magnum goddamn sponsorship too. <laughs> Everybody fucking with this. Damn, you got the boy, that's a hell of a task to make up. <laughs> Nigga. You gotta get your face back from the world seeing you doing some fucked up fucking. You on the phone. First of so, all, <laughs> Cash App is one so of the sponsors. I want some good lights. Right. Yeah. Can we Can get we Benny Boom to direct this shit? Can we fuck that? Somebody get okay. Pinky on the line. I want Pinky to direct this. Pinky's gonna be my creative director on this. Man. Yo. Them niggas like, Los, how did you prepare for this shit? They just gonna see me and Wesley Pipes over there talking to the wall. You like that dick, don't you, bitch? Say it again. Take that bitch. Say Take it that again. dick, you dirty bitch. That ain't it. Again. Lock down on that dick like a pit bull. <laughs> again. <laughs> Yeah, nigga going through training. Like Rocky, nigga. Bitch, steal that dick like a bank robber. <laughs> steal this rad. dick for me. You better steal this dick for me. <laughs> I still got dick left. You must don't want to steal all of it. <laughs> oh, my God, bro. You got to go through a boy Yeah, training. take that dick. Buy a nigga a gun. Buy me a gun. <laughs> oh, my God, bro. Yo. Now, nigga, Mr. Marcus teaches you how to keep your hat on straight. Your shit tilted. Keep and you straight. know, that's the craziest yeah, shit, though. Man. When a woman wants you to, she want to hear that type right of shit. <laughs> Say that shit when you fucking. Steal that dick like a bank robber. Oh, man, y'all don't even know if you, you gotta, know how funny that shit is right there, my nigga. Oh, my God, dog. Bro, you got to talk to these women crazy while you're having sex with them. Oh, my About God. About to spend the weekend in this pussy like when your family come to visit and they don't go home. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. In that pussy, that like the Wesley, Wesley Pipe's the greatest. That nigga say anything to a bitch. Yeah, bitch, you probably left the stove on, didn't you? you ungrateful bitch. You don't even give a fuck about this electric bill and this motherfucker, <laughs> do you, bitch? Yeah, I'm gonna fuck the electric bill out you. He bitch. got it. I'm good. Ungrateful bitch, you left my stove on, didn't you? Yeah, bitch, I'm gonna fuck you for this electric. Wow, well, these light goddamn light. lights on. <laughs> Uh, you just gonna run the goddamn light bill up. <laughs> right, that nigga was different, bro. That nigga was different. He didn't talk about anything. Yeah, bitch. Yeah, I know you left the car running, didn't you, bitch? You think you leaving? I'm fucking for a long time. Yeah, I don't bitch. give a fuck about your gas. You don't gas. give a fuck about your gas, bitch. I'm gonna fuck the shit out you for a long time. You thought this was gonna be a short scene? Nah, bitch. This an episode. Yeah, yeah. bitch. This dick longer than the ride over here. Ain't you? you like this type of shit. You like this type of shit, though. You a crazy bitch. A crazy bitch. You gotta tell us some shit like that. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh my God, dog, this bitch is dick longer than the ride over here. Oh! Oh, man. Oh, shit, man. Oh. Boy, you stupid as hell, bro. I love this shit, man. God. 
Oh God, man. There's <laughs> nothing like this. It was just niggas just said. Yeah. You talking about how Wesley Pike be talking to bitches on pornos and shit. Like how he talk crazy. That nigga low say <laughs> Wesley Pike tell the bitch, yeah, bitch. This dick longer than the ride over here, ain't it? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's just everybody stupid, that bro. Say that, that nigga say anything, Clay. Hey, he told two bitches, he said, you take my dick that way, you take my balls that way. <laughs> I said, this nigga crazy, dog. He said, yeah, you get over there with that dick, you get over there with them balls. I said, this nigga yeah, crazy. Yeah, this long distance, this dick, this it's long so distance, my shit. Like, bro, hey, Wesley Pipes, come on the show, man. We got to ask you some questions, bro. I you are less. This nigga got the greatest porno like pornographic literature. Every man, Like, if you just wrote down all the, the shit, shit he, he said, said. Nigga, I remember he was fucking, he had one, he was fucking a bitch with some green chucks on. He said, yeah, I know y'all wonder why I got these motherfuckers on. Happy St. Patrick's Day, nigga. Yeah, I'm like, nigga, this nigga crazy, hey, bro. This nigga was fucking the chick. He grabbed and said, bitch, get your ass out of that camp. <laughs> This my shot. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, what? Dude, yeah. This the craziest Crazy nigga, nigga out, too. Nah, don't cut this out. And I don't know where this nigga work, bro. You this nigga might be. No, I ain't got no job. Might right have now. a Disney series coming out. This nigga yeah. the voice of the teacups and shit. Yeah. I do. This nigga wrote Space Jam and ain't tell nobody. This nigga just got a check for 30 million. He just coming to keep a low profile. <laughs> Clay, nigga, I did all the body work for all the background cartoons. <laughs> right. Exactly. Most in care. $30 million dollar check. Like, yeah, I'm just going to they going to fuck with us, too. No, at some point, they got to. They like gonna the be sound better. of our voice. You know what I mean? Come on, man. We need to be, we, we don't be getting them shots. People want to hear us. Because they don't know that we want to be over there. Like, we didn't know you guys want to. I just want to do some voiceovers. Like, Fuck what? Yeah. Boy, I would love to be. I don't even care. Like, make me a serial character's voice, a new one. Like, no, nah, you need to be two Sam, I'll be the voice bro. of the Hootie Hoos. Two Can Sam. Hoo -hoo. <laughs> voice by Chico B. Oh, man, that'd be dope. Two Can Sam. Man, man, that nigga come out and be like, follow your nose, nah, man. You dead? <laughs> Love your mother. Eat your fruit loose. You dead? <laughs> the new the, the Lose. You was Tony the Tiger, bro? Boy, <laughs> you know I'm gonna make a hood. <laughs> They're good. <laughs> I want to be the voice of Tyrone and Tiger. Tyrone. They're good. <laughs> These are the goodest series. <laughs> oh, no, nah, you'll be better. I'll They're be the voice for all the store brands. It's the goodest. For all yeah. the store brands. They're hitting. Like, this is the nope. motherfucker. Lair, they're weeding. All the off brands. Plenty Chris. You know you you know you'll be nigga cool nigga you the motherfucking cow chocula bro. No nah, nigga I be that honey bear nigga oh. the hot nigga can't get enough of that golden crisp <laughs> golden crisp golden crisp <laughs> that nigga be walking around high with no pants on nigga sugar just a bear. sweater sugar bear. Hey you ever tried sugar bear? Hey, that nigga be cool the, in the, the cut. Sugar bear from the go go bear EU that nigga got one of the coldest lies ever. He said before you come see sugar bear. Comb your hair, brush your hair. That was the whole, <laughs> that's it. Then the song went off, nigga. <laughs> that was it. That's crazy. He left that on, that was his last <laughs> message. Before you come see Sugar Bear, comb your hair, brush your hair. If I had a cereal, you know what they'll be called? What? Some Save Me Songs. Some Save Me Songs. Yeah, that, mm. ooh. Some Save Me okay. Songs. It's all the cereal tastes, it's, uh, every bite tastes like it's the last. Last one, right. Shit don't get soggy. That's how good it is. Every bite tastes like it's the last bite. And they're gonna be good. You can feed them to your baby if just dry. Your baby will love it. Yeah, they're gonna have the same nutritional value as Cheerios. Mm. But Help your heart. Taste good. But they're gonna Cholesterol. Taste good like nigga, boy. With flavor. Cheerios fuck around and save your life on the low. Regular Cheerios? Regular. If your doctor prescribe you Cheerios, you in trouble. Them and kids, I mean, if you, if you yeah, really got to like, be the two most bland. Cheerio, regular Cheerios, Cheerios, and regular kicks, nigga. Berry, berry kicks. Any nigga eat regular kicks with nothing on them, they use a cold blood nigga. You were really from the <laughs> project. Great yeah. little kid. You grew up in the project with that might, lead paint. You might, you I might. Know. I know. Fuck it. Yeah, regular kicks, nigga. Worst cereal I ever had in my life is goddamn Total, though. I live in the house with old people, man. That's total in that bitch, that Total. Oh, you're racing. I ain't even gonna say that nigga all the time. You can have it. What that? Honey smack? That shit's fucked up. That tastes like rice cake. Mm -hmm. What was it called? 
The total shit? Oh yeah, total was like they flakes. Taste, yeah, but they taste like the Rice Krispies. Not the one I had. It ain't taste like no Rice Krispies. That shit tastes like they wheat had bread. That was, that had <laughs> wheat bread with milk on it. Now you talking about crispy rice. They, nah. <laughs> Chris now they Rex. got some shits that's like flakes, but they taste like the Rice Krispies. Oh, them, y'all, okay. I forgot what they call them. This nigga said Crispix. You ain't never seen that shit? Yeah, I have seen that With shit. With the three that. layers. Yeah. We put an extra layer of crumb. Man, get this stupid shit out of here. <laughs> you ever put some flavor on that this you didn't bit. think you was gonna like, but you fucked with? Kaboom. What the fuck is that? This nigga like got little like clown kicks. faces yeah. with little marshmallows and the marshmallows flavor. Yeah. Dang. Get that shit at Big Lots. Kaboom. It was, they Super ain't even classic, like, Yeah. Right? Oh, okay. Yeah, I. I I don't know if I ever had something I ain't think I was gonna fuck with or fuck with, but some of them checks. Yo, yeah, I was about to say check straight. You know what I mean? Checks good. And what's another unusual cereal? There's some shit that's, that's called O's. I don't know if you know what they they come in a yellow box with a red sign on. They call O's, my nigga. These is oh my god. Dog. If you never had none of them, go get you some of them. They sell them at Walmart and shit. They call O big yellow box with a red O on it. These bitches are Fuck delicious. Fuck part is all the grown people watching this. It ain't gonna be about ten percent that can actually, actually eat drink some milk, cereal. right? Yeah, I ain't I can't no more evil, but hey, hey man, drink. they got all the other milk. No, I can't drink that either. I'm allergic to nuts. Oat milk. Oat milk. They got oat milk. Yeah. What that shit tastes like? <laughs> You said yeah. like you done had some. Yeah, I had some. What's oat milk? I'll drink it again, too. <laughs> I, no, <right>. I, think, <laughs> I think milk is going to taste how you imagine it. it. Yeah, it's just, it ain't too different. Like the cashew milk, I done had that shit. That shit ain't it too can't different. Eat that shit. Yeah. yeah my man. Drink that shit. Drink yeah. That shit and swell up, man. Yeah, I'm allergic to you suck titties, don't almonds and pecans. Yeah, you ain't allergic to nah, titties. Nah, 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 no. But if she rubbed her titties, titties ain't got no nuts in it. And some peanut butter. That's she trying to kill me, yeah, bro. Yeah, this that's, bitch is treacherous. She trying to kill me, bro. That's fucked up. This bitch is treacherous. She's a dirty You'll never know the, the you, sweet you, that, taste of peanut whole, butter on nipples. Nigga. That's a real Reese's cup. I, hey. That's where they got the idea for the Reese's hey. cup. He said, man, if I can I make me a little that. areola. I respect that. That tastes I, like peanut butter. We be in business. <laughs> I'm about to stick, uh, let these people know the Areola jerseys are coming soon. They've been asking for it. Areola jerseys? Yep. Yeah. Popular demand. That's one of the ones well, I just had made for me, and I ain't know nobody wanting none. Uh, you ain't know it. The water on here, and they were like, nigga, put that shit on the site. So, Areola jerseys. That's yeah. dope. I'm going to make, I'm going to bring a couple color variations. I'm going to come out with a whole bunch of teams and shit. All right, man. What's the most thing you got? Put my name on the back chain. My name is Jerry Areola. I like Jerry I like Areola. That. Jerry Areola. Uh, that's the one you want. What's your number? Uh, huh? What's your number? Uh, shit, double zero. Hey, Amen. <laughs> we need Jerry Areola. Uh, Jerry Areola. And I want I'm Chief. I'm even say it. I want Chief Ossie Areola. Areola. That's Chief Ossie Areola. <laughs> Chief Ossie Areola. <laughs> What's your name, bro? Whoa. Let me see. <laughs> Mine gonna be goddamn... Ooh, we. How about Jack Nipolis? Oh, mm. Jack Nipolis. Yep. Jack Nipolis, Jerry Ariola, and Chief I.C. Ariola. Mm -hmm. Hey, man, we need that on the back of the joint. Now, you can get yours personalized. If you want one of those, you can order that special. We'll have those available for y'all if you want we to We're about to have it all. Rep all that. What's the other teams? Are you keeping them secret? Hello? Yeah. I'm too high. Yeah. I was too low. <laughs> you know, sit up, bro. You, you can't hear you. You got too low. What other teams coming out? Let me see. Don't tell them yet, because you know they be out here. They be no, to put the be shit the on the bootleg time. page. This be the perfect time. They might put it on the bootleg page. You right. Don't tell them shit up. Yeah. Keep it a I'm secret. I'm just saying. You'll see when you see. They be done made the shit already. Right. Nigga, yeah, put the page up. Love it too. Mm. Yep. Yeah. Mm, be on my Facebook page. Jack Nipolis. How the fuck you get right. sent you a friend request? Next time I go to Google, it's going to show this old white man with some tennis highlights. <laughs> <laughs> Jack Nipolis, first white man to integrate white people sports <laughs> under the guise of being a minority. Uh, yeah, man. I just fuck with Ariola's. I feel like there's a lot of people out there who don't 
appreciate them enough. There's a lot of women who don't even have none, just straight nipple. What? Just nipple, ain't no areola, just titty nipple. Titty nipple. Titty nipple, is that the, the scientific term yeah. for it? Titty nipple? There ain't no areola. That's a good name for the jersey, tit e nipple. I, that was already one of my areas. That's the mascot's uh, name. Yeah, yeah the that's the mascot's name. That's the mascot's name. T-I-D. Nipple. Ted E. Ted E. Nipple. Yeah, yeah okay. Ted E. Nipple. That's what it is. I got that one already. That was the original one. Okay. The, on the back, it was going to say Ted, Ted E. e Lover. Ted E. Lover. Okay. Mm. Was it the mascot, Ted E. Nipple? And they kept saying, like, what is, is it tied? I was like, no, it's Ted E. And they were like, so is it together? I was like, no, it's no, T-I-D. Space, Space E, e. Love it. Love He's it. like, oh, bro. And then he gave you some shit that said tied love. Yeah. <laughs> this ain't what I asked for. It couldn't fit it. <laughs> it looked like tied love, but it's Ted E. Lover. Ted E. Lover. Yeah. We can come out with some candy, call them Ted E. Suckers. I mean, like, titty shape. And they can give them out at baby showers. Yeah. There's two of them. Two of them, right. Double boob. Nipple. And it's like like some Candy. gusher juice in the nipple. So like you gotta yeah. That you took it, yeah. Man, she like she fucked with that idea. She's like, that's brilliant. No, she, <laughs> she uh, did uh, uh, maybe she did and she was like, that's too much. I'm like, well maybe. See, that's I'm cooking here. I'm trying to come up with the products. Yeah. Y'all got some great ideas, bro. We should do more pitch meetings. I know. <laughs> what you gonna you gonna get a uh you gotta get something for the scammers? Uh, we don't see that. A scammed Navy in Jersey. Scam the Navy. Yeah. <laughs> scam the neighbor. Now. You know what would be cool? <laughs> the scammer maniacs. It'll make it like a cartoon. The scammer maniacs, like the animaniacs, mm -hmm. but it's just a cartoon about niggas that scam everybody. <laughs> mm. They go to jail every episode. Yep, though. every one. But they get out. The PP, P long, fuck just, them right, up. It's just like Pinky in the Brain. They try to take over the world through scamming and it never work out. Mm. Well, next they day we're going to look up this shit going to be on somebody's network. Like, the Scammer Maniacs coming to a Netflix series near you. So nigga check that, this out. It takes it's place. It's going to be a nigga that hit you and be like. <laughs> it takes place in Scamden, New Jersey. Okay, that's <laughs> no, where we're going to take it. It's going to be a nigga that hit you. So y'all just going to take our shit like that. <laughs> Oh, you mean it's a group already? Probably. The Scammer Maniac. It will be they after this. This come out, I guarantee. Hey, man, the Scammer Maniacs on y'all ass. Y'all shouldn't have never said our name. Yeah, nigga. Disrespect. Since y'all want to sit there and talk about us on y'all show. the Scam fam, nigga. Why don't y'all post our music or something, nigga? Nigga. Don't keep our name, name in y'all mouth, mouth nigga, like come that, see nigga. about you niggas, nigga. I know one thing. If you niggas ever come to South Dakota, though. <laughs> Best believe it's going down. You niggas is banned. Niggas are no fly zone. I know one place y'all won't be doing no shows at. <laughs> Plainfield, South Dakota, nigga. nigga. Scabbabadia, nigga. Nigga. You heard of WrestleMania? It's going to be oh, Scabbabadia. Man. Nigga, we at, least, we at least 50 niggas deep, nigga. Bitch, we call the city scam a lot. Nigga, yeah. we in four states, nigga. <laughs> Matter of fact, nigga, don't say my name, nigga. I'm Sir Scam a lot, nigga. I know one Best thing, nigga. Me. I better not see none of you niggas with no orange on. <laughs> <laughs> Why no orange? Nigga, them scammier colors, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, man. Oh. That shit's stupid. <laughs> nah, man. We taking over. We got to do some more pitches, though. A lot of shit need to be out here. Oh, oh man. Shit. So, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I feel like the best I could really offer in the world of scamming is if I can come out with a, like, like a line of exclusive bags. With a lot of zippers and shit on the inside. Yeah. I think you can target like the scammers. scammers. Need more bags with compartments and zippers. I feel like scammers' main thing right now is they need yeah, more. Yeah, come out with some bags and call them the glove compartment. They need they utility. Need, they need bags that Function. look empty all the time. Glove compartments. No Functionality. Matter if they're full or not, they need to look empty. <laughs> like yeah, you can like bags shrink that look some as shit. Empty as possible. possible. No matter what you put in. But it, it can't stay look flat. too crazy. Yeah. You gotta like, stay Like it's flat. empty, but it's room for some shit. But it's empty as possible with it being full. Yeah. Various pockets. Yeah. 
like a computer hacker. Yeah. Oh. Well, I think we should yeah. probably come out with some underwear for nasty people, like <laughs> underwear that cleans your ass. Ass wipes. That's actually a good ass idea, right ass there. Ass wipes. I can't believe. Ass you wipes did. draws. Well, sometimes you think you did is better than you did. But you didn't. You didn't do as good as you did. So each pair of drawers got two asses, and you just rip away one <laughs> ass and then wipe your ass. New pair of drawers. And then it's, the three and, in one. So you got Guess two. Guess what we call them? You got two. Shibooties. Yeah. Shibooties. <laughs> For shitty booty. For shitty booty. <laughs> but the you, snatch you, away you, ass. you pull it out, wipe your ass, toss that motherfucker, and then there's one more. Yeah. And then after that, you're done. You're done. You, you get, get the yeah. three pack of the five That'll pack. That'll get you home. <laughs> That'll get you home. They always get you home. <laughs> You just, you just, you got some, you got some you of them little let, pads just, like in the ground beef. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you want to be on the bottom of the chicken. You want to be on the bottom of the chicken, nigga. Take one of them out. You still sure got drawers. You still got drawers. Come on. That's, 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 that's one of the slogans. Them. You still yeah. got drawers. Make, <laughs> make them real comfortable. What if you out and you shit on yourself? With your booties, you still, still got, got drawers. Oh, man. And you ain't even got to change your drawers. That's it. Yeah. Man. With the flushable boot. booty department. <laughs> 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 that shit crazy. Feeling the scratch? Do a snatch. That's all you got to do right there, Dick. Oh, man. man. You tired of having to wipe your ass on the go? <laughs> For the man who can't stop to wipe his ass. Are you a shorter at the party? <laughs> Do devil eggs run right through you? <laughs> Weak sphincter, like the lad. All kind of shit, man. They've been keeping black men from inventing shit for the last couple hundred years. Yeah. You heard it here first. Yeah. A bunch of shit they done heard here first. We gotta come out and with ran some off. inventions. Oh, yeah. Ran so off. I already made that version of Meet the Bradleys. I saw it. Hmm. I saw a trailer. Yeah, you showed me that shit. When I said it's I crazy. was gonna do the show Meet the Bradleys, about a black dude getting with a white chick and they just scam in America. Mm-hmm. And then, her kids and his kids get together and they scamming too and they using racism to their advantage and shit. It's classic. We were talking about it at Steve's studio. Meet the Bradleys. People made flyers and shit for it. Wait a minute, so this was your really This was what this you shit. said. Yeah. And then what they said. They got a show coming up. And they ain't say like nothing to you. Mm-hmm. So I'm they, talking about them there verbatim. They said and then they stopped saying. They, they they just showed it. I just seen the just trailer. Came on. Just came And it's what you the premise. Yep. <sighs> yep. Such is the life of a nigga that's solid. That's all right. We about to come out with some more shit. Oh, nigga, your booty's going to take the game over. I already know. <laughs> they ain't fucking with them, nigga. We're going to make a they, million dollars off they gonna them. They're going to steal First that week. shit. First week, they're gonna steal that <laughs> shit, literally. Yep. Damn. That's all right. I got a lot of ideas. You gotta get them out. They can't stop this. We're still working on That's the cold, though. We still got that Carlos Bernard. We gotta put that Carlos Bernard. That's the part that they don't know. It's oh, got an age. Yeah. Oh, when that Carlos Bernard age. hit, boy, woo, boy, the commercials, we gonna shoot for that. We Damn. gonna have motherfuckers so respectfully drunk right here. I'm talking about a two step drunk. You know, you get drunk and start dancing. Yeah, but ain't even no music on. But you ain't in nobody's mm-hmm. way. It ain't right. nobody in yours. Right. Carlos Bernard. Right. Game changer. It's gonna be great. Bourbon? Huh? Whiskey? Cognac. Cognac. That's what you, that's how the commercial. Like A delicious you, cognac. You gotta turn them down. See, like, cognac, you know. then nobody wants to conquer the delicious market in liquor. You, you want to be delicious. Make shit delicious. People like it because it tastes good. Uh huh. Ain't no cognac that tastes good. So yeah. This one gonna be delicious. What was? 
I can't and can't tell you on air. <laughs> What's gonna be the flavor profile? Delicious. Just delicious. Unlike, you can't give me hints or notes of nothing. Mornings in Athens. Mornings in Athens. You know Greece it, or Georgia? But do you know what it tastes like? <laughs> <laughs> Which Athens? You know what it tastes like? Success. Okay. All right. It tastes like well. Mount Olympus. Pineapple. With a hint of Jolly Rancher. There you go. <laughs> Jolly Rancher? A pineapple Jolly Rancher? No. Nah, just well, a pineapple with what flavor Jolly Ranch? A hint. A hint of Jolly Ranch. A hint of green apple Jolly Ranch. Yeah. It goes so hard. But you know what the flavor profile is? Spicy. Sweet spicy. This is Mexican candy? Like some wings. No, nah, it's, it's, it's uh, more shit, like a. shit hit like yeah, wings. Yeah, yeah, like habanero. Sweet and sour. It's kind of like that tequila. You can't spicy. make that cone yet. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be spicy sweet because it's gonna hit you like the liquor need to hit you, and the sweetness is right there to make you keep drinking this shit. Well, and you know when you when you mix <laughs> these two together, you know what you got? You have a delicious liquor. What two? Stop looking like you're not gonna buy this, ma'am. You know you. What she like? This is what not. Two? What wanna, two? I want to hmm? taste it. Oh, you mean the two flavors? Yeah. Okay. When you mix these two flavors, when you get put those two elements together, you get a delicious liquor. It's great for celebration. It's great for uh, all types of things. The liquor. That's, that's the distribution. Side notes, you know when you've been somewhere with a long time when the young nigga starts stealing snacks? That's when it's usually nigga that went up three times. <laughs> that young nigga, dude, that's all he likes is snacks. Man. He brought them. He don't them. even eat food, just snacks. He brought them. Yeah, he was how young he is. Bro. He went three times. Like, yo, they got the jalapeno Cheetos over there. <laughs> Living his wildest dreams in this motherfucker. Like, nigga walking like, I can have whatever I want. Hey, man, the next bag gonna have to be Fritos. Man, leave that nigga alone. He <laughs> grown, man. He been, he been in this bitch being a whole boss. Yeah, nah, he been doing this, man. Yeah, yeah. That young nigga owns three websites. See that? Amazing. He sell cryptocurrency. Which one? Do he sell the good ones? No, nah, they cheap. They like a dime. Oh, okay. He's selling the ones he made. Yeah, right. they're gonna blow hey, up. Man, I, got, I, got my, I got my crypto. We, Bro, gonna we gotta mad get it. Shit we ain't buy none. I okay. can get you the other one, but On you some real shit. We gotta get us a cryptocurrency, man. NFTs? No, we need non fungible token. Non fungible token. Some shit like that. Well, what is what is it? Basically, you just pay to have the uh, original a crypto shit. version of whatever piece of media they decide for it to be. Other people can still see the shit. They can look at it, whatever the Word. fuck. You just but okay. yeah, you hey, own we it like put digital. Put all the shows out that we ain't put out as NFTs, man, and make <laughs> people buy them, motherfucker. Huh? You want to sell them? Yeah, NFTs. Let's sell them. Yeah, yeah. I mean that. Sell that hard drive. You want to come in here and NFT. record some exclusive shit yeah, just for like They don't NFT. get to physically have it. had a rich ass 85% of who's no, like, I want to give you guys They don't get to physically have nothing. Just make an episode just, for me. That'll be cool. Yeah. 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 Martin Scarelli. Oh, it's like a digital goddamn trading card damn near. Oh, it yeah. don't make sense. Give me a cryptocurrency. What you going to call it? Titty coin. Titty. <laughs> <laughs> Titty coin. Titty coin. <laughs> I was trying to buy some Bitcoin, but I saw titty coin was a lot cheaper. Coin, man. That titty, titty coin. is down. So I got, even I got when the stock go down, it's going to look like longer titty titties. Titties. Yeah, that's titty Titties sit up the yep. higher the market go. Yep. How's the titty market? Well, you know, it's up and down. <laughs> yeah. Coochie coin would be cool, too. Ooh, coochie! Coochie, coochie coin. coin, man. Oh, man. That might already exist somewhere. Mmm. This is like a strip coin. club somewhere in America. With <laughs> That's what you had to put in the jukebox. That's going to be the one It works for all the goddamn nasty sites. That's how you pay for your OnlyFans. That's how you pay for your little freaky what, coochie little coin. shit. Coochie coin. Yeah. Use coochie coin. Yeah. You got a porn, Transfers. porn hub subscription. You pay with white Coochie people coin. jump Coochie on coin. it if it's a name that sounds futuristic. Like we could come out with the baby daddy coin and call it baby daddicus, and they would fucking <laughs> bab daddicus. Bab daddicus coin. Yep, bab daddicus. 
Yeah, we are all the way in the rabbit hole now, guys. <laughs> we traveled all the way down. Babdaticus is up 33%. We're at Babdaticus. Where did the name come from? It's an ancient place in Rome. It was the first baby daddy. Right out. The first baby daddy. In ancient daddy mythology, was baby daddy's fault. <laughs> right. <laughs> fought on Mount Olympus. Baby Daddicus had to cut the head off the Baby hydra. Baby Daddicus. <laughs> Baby Daddicus was the first nigga to slay the child support system. <laughs> I am the third grandson of Baby Daddicus. <laughs> you probably heard him refer to such names as Bab Daddicus or Baby Daddicus. <laughs> it's the same whether it's Greek or <laughs> ancient <laughs> Roman, Roman <laughs> philosophy. <laughs> Bab Daddicus came from the mountains of Negrodius. Came down on riding an elephant. <laughs> First brother of Mansa Musa. Great grandson of Shaka Zulu. Babdaticus. Babdaticus. Whereabouts were unknown until he started ruling the Persian Empire from 520 BC <laughs> to 700 AD. Babdaticus has once fought a thousand men back to back, defeating them all by punching them in the dick over and over again. <laughs> At that point, he saved the Negropolis. <laughs> Bab he was king of Negropolis from 700 to 720 BC when he was defeated by Babe Monarchus. She was the only female ruler of the empire. It is as big as Africa themselves. She came from the east. <laughs> And he came in the West. Mother and of 37 was, with no was stretch the end marks. of Babe Daticus. <laughs> Babe Daticus died poor and broke <laughs> under the rule of Charles Portacus. Negropolis was no longer his. Negropolis was no longer. <laughs> Babe Daticus was slain by, by the rule of Charles Portacus. <laughs> Charles Portacus didn't marry Babe Monacus. <laughs> Sold half of the empire to the whites. <laughs> That's when the Europeans moved into the Gordian, to the Negrodian Mountains uh, and, and exploited all of the natural resources <laughs> of the great lands of Babe Dankus. <laughs> oh, oh man. You know, his kingdom now is known as Brazil. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, Babe Mama took him to the ocean and drowned him. Just, just, just nagged him to death. Didn't have nowhere to go. Child support pushed him in the dick repeatedly until he threw up his intestines. The same him. move that he had grown famous for had been turned on its head That's and delivered him. right to his he groin. He fell to the same move that he created. Another legend that Babe Monicus talked him to death. <laughs> His last words were, will you shut the fuck His up? His last words was, I'd rather drown than listen to this bitch. And he walked 5,000 feet into the ocean <laughs> until he was no more. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> The saga of Babe Daticus coming to the history Babe channel Daticus. soon. Babe Daticus. Babe Daticus. <laughs> what? Father of the universe, he said to have over 17 million offspring. Oh. One in three people are direct descendants, descendants of Babe, Babe Daticus. Daticus. <laughs> oh man. Man. Stupid. Crazy. It's crazy, man. <laughs> Babe Daticus. Go, don't make it into a show. Right. We, hey. Bro, that shit gonna be coming on, on Fox shit. next fall. Babe Daticus. Starring. Starring Tom Hanks. Right. <laughs> Tay Diggs. Tay Diggs. <laughs> Columbus Short. Right. Oh, All them niggas who used to be in Tyler Perry. <laughs> Why Tyler Perry? All right, all right, Perry. stop. All right, then look, guys. Right, he <laughs> must have been then called us. We right went to that. Hey, look, that's why he have it. Because, hey, Tyler, hey. Oh, you work for him, too? No. <laughs> nigga, y'all no, niggas. Never I will. work with him. You never will. God. That's never. where I started on. You started on Tyler Perry. Yeah, you work with My Tyler Perry. My first actor shit oh, was Tyler House of Perry. Like, nah, leave that nigga with you in the car. <laughs> <laughs> 
He's not welcome here. <laughs> he <worked> here. <laughs> he <laughs> He's not welcome here. Never took me around them folks. Lolos, you are not built for this type of audience. That's all right. Y'all know everybody cool. Wait till I get me some motherfucking friends in the industry. This ain't gonna show up with Babe Daddy. No, nah, fuck y'all. Yeah. <laughs> y'all can have these old limited ass black actors. I'm coming through with the coolest motherfucker ever. Christopher Walken. Nigga. <laughs> I did something with him. Hey, man, look, all right, man, it's time to go. This nigga stunt, though. This, this nigga, nigga stunt, though. This nigga did something with the king of New York, nigga. What the f it's all right. Wow. <laughs> Me and Brad Pitt been working on some shit on the low, and he don't give a fuck what I say on this show. How about that? Brad Pitt love it. Yeah, we working on Fight Club, too. What's the, is, is, that's the name? Just yeah. Fight Club, too? He my alter ego in this. Nah, one. nah. It's going to be called Square Up, this one, though. <laughs> <laughs> Knuckle up. <laughs> Fuck Fight Club. This was called Square Up, nigga. Man, nigga, this is Fight Club, too. Club the fight. legend of Tyler Durden. And he gonna be your alter ego. Yeah. Well, it's Just like, like he was. We kind of like alter egos together. Like, it's kind of hard to explain without getting in the way. He's, like, he's an alter ego and I'm a persona. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> nah. It's like, he gonna do half the shit. Then I'm gonna do another hand, and then we'll kind of meet in the middle, and then like the middle is like the direct conflict. Like Venom. Exactly. Oh. Uh, but all right, put it in perspective. Once you make, you know, all right, we'll get into it. Man. <laughs> Just know I'm working. We know I'm working. I got a few few irons in the fire. This shit don't stop. I know. And that shit, that money been gone. Yeah. What? All that shit. Fight club With money. acting. Oh. Once you fire, you done, you fired. All the acting money gone? You done, you fired. It ain't gone, but when you done, you fired. Oh, okay. You said But from that shit, that's gone. Yeah. yeah. Right. Like the, the yeah, you work with big name people. You they, they they got all the money. They took all the money. Yeah. Right. And they be crazy. You be wanting to be in the shit. Oh, I don't want to be in the shit. No, you don't. Be in the shit where ain't nobody. So they got some money for you. Yeah. It's just you. That's the name of the movie. Me. Man, yeah, have some money for me. You working with great actors. Right. Myself. Right. I feel you. Mm-hmm. Fuck it. I'm working on some shit though. I can't wait for y'all to say it. I'm like, oh wait, 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 wait. Don't say that. Me and Marvin Gaye. <laughs> That's what's coming next. You know they got the biopic coming, Marvin Gaye biopic. And they don't put that picture in there. They don't. I'm getting in it. They got speaking it into existence right now. Gotta get a right Marvin Gaye biopic, man. You could be one of the niggas in DC in his early life. You know I'm probably I mean? gonna probably one end up being, being one of like the main characters. Since you gonna I'm be Marvin? Up. I'm so believable. You gonna be Marvin? I'm not gonna be Marvin. Close to him, family member. But I'm gonna be like right there with him. In the band. I'm gonna be like the dude who be like, Marvin, they playing us on the radio. <laughs> I'm getting that role. That role. <laughs> I'm getting that role. First nigga that heard it on the radio, yeah. yeah. Do you hear it in the car or do you hear it at the house like the Five Hobbies did? I don't know what he, I don't know the script yet. But I'm letting you know I'm in that bitch. Right, gotcha. I'm speaking it. How they gonna do the Marvin Gaye movie and not put me in it? They can't? Nah, I've been working on my shit too. What you, what? My drama. Oh. All right, Marvin Gaye just got denied at a club. Huntsville, Alabama, 1959. That's when he first getting started. They won't let him in. And you the motherfucker at the door talking to the white man that turned him away. Action. Marvin, Marvin. They saying we can't perform tonight, man. I know, man. Calm down, Marvin. Let me talk to these people. Just let me talk to them, man. Just... What do you mean? That we can't perform here. Come on, man. Let me talk turkey to you, man. Now, what is it going to tell you? My cousin Marvin. You mind blacking it up a little bit? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was gonna cut it. Well, I'm glad you did. This is my assistant director. Uh, we're gonna need a little bit more. Now, this is you didn't say what network it was. No, on. no, we're gonna. This you is, can't this is see, a major motion this is, film. This is where I brought my more. We're gonna need experience. A little bit more to, Carlos, in that, you can't and be black down it up. Some. You can't yeah. be down there yelling at the white folks. No, we're gonna need you. To, we're gonna need you. We, we're not telling you to yell. We're gonna need you to put a little bit more of that pain in your voice. A little more soul. A little more soul and pain in your voice. I want you to. I want to feel like. I quit. I want to feel like. <laughs> that's what they. That's the shit they be trying to do. You black it up. 
Black Are y'all saying some other kind of word? Ah. Uh, I'm gonna put a little bit more funk on that. I'm gonna put a little bit more funk on that one. This is Soul Brother, man. Yeah, we don't need you to put a little bit more funk on the Soul Brother. Come on, man. All right, that was good for the script. Now, let me see you do it. <laughs> can, can I just see you dance? <laughs> They're not gonna ask me to dance in the Marvin Gaye movie. <laughs> Marvin, Gaye wasn't a, Marvin, Gaye movie. Marvin Gaye wasn't a good dancer. They that's that's probably gotta be a main part of the movie. Nah, they, they gonna reenact that scene from the album cover from the Good Times poster with a nigga like this. That was a whole scene. That really happened. Yeah, but that was a club. Marvin Gaye wasn't a dancer. Everybody know he couldn't dance. He was performing though, so you mm -hmm. might have to dance as the nigga that's. But I'm not gonna be like one of the niggas singing. But you going? That's what I'm saying. You in the crowd dancing? Like you in the crowd? Oh, I turn. Right? Yeah, fuck that up, nigga. Yeah. You know, I'm good. You on the side of the stage? Yeah, like if that, like I'm in the club groove. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know I fucked that up, bro. In the club groove. Yeah. All right. And they got, I'm probably going to be driving like a Cadillac or something. So you know I'm trustworthy with that type of shit. Yeah. And that's the thing about it. Where they going to find some young niggas? Cat just, just did this to his shirt. Right. So that man. Uh -huh. Where else they going to find some niggas that can drive a Cadillac like that? Now, you should have asked me to do the same way. I whip up in the Cadillac at the radio station with some fresh vinyl and like Marvin Gaye. This is the new wave, baby. You don't know Marvin Gaye? This song is sweeping all across the nation, baby. Nigga, oh. And you can only get it from me. No, 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 look, no, 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 look. I don't play them new records now. You're the third time you done came down here. All right? No, no, no. I don't know what's different about this guy than the last three guys you done brought up here, but I can't play none of them records you bring up here now. Mr. Washington, you want to know what's different about this guy than the last three guys? $20 bill. And from now on, I'm trying to tell you, baby, Marvin Gaye's the new wave. This record is sweeping the nation. That's when the movie changed. Uh, mm. That's when me and Marvin gonna get our shit done. We're gonna come through with them shiny motherfuckers <laughs> and then he gonna hit me with one of these. And that's when we both jump in the Cadillac. Mine yeah. gonna be stupid. Like he, I'm gonna be like a yellow one. His gonna be like a sky blue or some shit. He in the front because he Marvin Gaye. I'm in the back because you know he Marvin Gaye. Right. But I'm in my. I got a Cadillac too. Right. Yep. You just driving your. Right. He getting shot first. is down. Yeah. Right. We can't write this movie for them. Hey, look. That's enough. Yeah. That's I'm just that's talking about. Much. I'm that's talking about much. my scene. Gave him too yeah, much. We gave and too plus gave that too scene much. that's at the table where Marvin Gaye kind of go off on everybody. Who you think gonna be the nigga who like in that scene? Yeah, you after he you gonna get gold off on? No, he, he gonna he, go he off went on, on everybody. Go off on everybody. Then Marvin walk out the room. Jake, talk to your cousin. <laughs> all right, <I'll> Auntie. <laughs> that's, that's, I'm already in there. That's what you want to do. Yeah, because somebody got to act like the food was real good in there. <laughs> I guess I'll go. And right before me and Marvin Gaye go on the road, I'm going to have to leave my little sweetheart and be like, there he is. I don't know what this rule got for me and cousin. I'm going to make sure that I nah, take Nah, that's, that's when they loading up the bus. Everybody yeah. loading up the bus. Come on, man. Yeah, they loading we got up the to bus. go, lover boy. Yeah. And then we start out good. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Up. Then we start really rolling. Yeah, niggas is loading up the bottom of the bus. And then we come home and she's like, what's gotten into you? Cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I don't want to talk up. about it right now. <laughs> but it ain't about me. Like, I'm just like, I'm not on the drugs. Like, it's Marvin's cocaine habit, but I've been doing it with him, but I'm off of it at this point. You know what I'm saying? Right. You try to get off of it to get him off of it. I got off of it. But it ain't going as you easy. That's the point of the movie where Marvin stopped listening to him. Exactly. You know what I mean? We kind of done fell out. Yeah. At this point, it's just montage scenes of me doing regular shit because I ain't on the road with Marvin Gaye. Uh, I had to sell my Cadillac. Yeah. I done got back So the movie girl. about you? No. Uh, I'm just Marvin, it's Marvin Gaye it's movie, Marvin but Gaye. you in there. But your himself. story arc. Yeah. You I don't know who that person was that was right there is, with Marvin okay. Gaye. And yeah. right before Marvin Gaye made uh, Sexual Hill, and that's when he came back out, that's when they get back together. We linked back up, and yeah. the chemistry was still there. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Marvin, I got one for you, man. Running to each other somewhere random, somewhere they both used to. It's like that scene at the beginning of the movie where niggas was playing basketball or something, and then Marvin Walking just happened. Walking through the neighborhood. Yeah. I've spent the last 
seven years writing a song <laughs> that only Marvin Gaye could sing. Well, come on, well, let me hear it then. Then the next, then the cut. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Man, this shit is gonna win up. We gotta stop <clears throat> writing this movie for these people, man. All right, man. All right. Stop. I don't, we, don't, we don't even know if that's what happened with his life, but that's just sound good. Sound but based great, off though. the information that we had, we did a great fucking a great job. job. Hey, man. I mean, they can fill that in later. Timeline's a little shaky, but. <laughs> <laughs> you the nigga that you the nigga they sitting hey, in man. there. We the just spitballing right now. We just uh, working. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> this nigga too professional. I know. <laughs> All right, man. Well, let's wrap it up. The fucking chicken been ready 30 minutes. Man, yeah. well, it's, it's not even hot no so more. On the clock, just say 995999. Hey, man. 995999. <laughs> that sounds like the, the number for some bullshit. It is. Damn, I thought Ryan ordered some food earlier. Nah, it ain't this coming nigga if you did. Garbage as fuck. It ain't coming. That's why that young nigga be eating all them Cheetos. Bro, that is terrible, man. I gotta get something to eat out of this. Yeah. yeah, man, I get some celebratory wings. Well, man, it was good seeing you motherfuckers again. Hey, man, it's so good. Glad to have you back. Glad man, to see listen, you back. Man, I'm glad to be here. This Always glad to be here, man. You know what I mean? God damn it. And no matter what, don't you forget, this dick is longer than the ride over here. Don't you ever forget it. Ah, tell him he's dead. <laughs> hey, man, this is 85 South Show. We have this bitch. Yeah. I'll tell her that in any moment. Oh, my goodness. Boy, y'all motherfuckers are crazy. <laughs> Stop lying on them text messages. Quit cheating on that young man. BB, how was the game? Good. You was the good luck charm today? I guess. I was really at the club, wasn't it, though? At the club? Mm hmm. Why are you hitting? What, what is this yeah, about? Nigga your back like you got a bird. Yeah, like, I'm like, what are you going <laughs> on? What's up, though? Yeah, you dressed like the referee. What we got to do now?